right, should be live. Um, we may or may not be. I think we are. We are. Okay, right. Welcome to another rebuild on this channel. Hopefully, it will be a successful one. We've had two unsuccessful and one successful so far. But we'll be going for another rebuild today. Again, the way this video works is I'll sign people, obviously, to try and get the team that we're taking to the top. Obviously, as you can see in the title, you know who it is already. I might as well scroll along here and show you as well. But basically, we're going to try and get the team to the top and try and get them European glory. That's the whole plan. So first of all, we'll obviously go into the team, which is Ajax, who've got... Hold on a minute. Look at these expectations. Domestic success critical, continental success high, brand exposure critical, financial high, and youth development critical. So it's going to be a lot of work at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Uh, we will put it in... What, what currency do they have? I have to Google this. If I, if it's, I don't remember what. I think it's Euros in the Netherlands, isn't it? This isn't Fall Guys. No, it's not Fall Guys. <laughs> that was uh, the other day. They use Euros. Of course they do. I should have known that off the top of my head. But we'll go with Euros. Um, everything else is as it should be. Sweet. Let's get into it. Taking over. AFC, Ajax. Blood isn't Ten Hag. No, I'm not going to be Ten Hag. I've done Ten Hag with Man United. I'm trying to use the actual manager. And I've gone as close as I can to creating him. But it might still be a bit off. So, rebuild. It's time we go with Ajax. It doesn't look incredibly like him, to be honest. It's not the fan most fantastic... Uh, the most fantastic manager creation I've done in my life. But it's kind of close. Alright, it'll do. I'm not spending all the time on manager creation. The whole point is to build the team. So taking a look then at the squad. We've got some good players, obviously. And then we've got some players that we need to develop here. It's it's a squad that's kind of been ripped apart since the uh, glory days of that semi-final. Nearly the final against Spurs a few years ago. We don't even have an outright... Well, we have Brian Brobby, but beyond that, we don't have an outright striker. Alvarez, I believe, is a CDM. He's playing centre-back. It's not great at the moment, if I'm being honest. This team does need a bit of work. I'm happy with Ruley for now, I think. How old is Jamal? Uh, J yeah, I forgot his first name. Ruley, anyway. How old is he? 30. Berghaus as well. Decent little player. Is he more winger than a cam? I don't really know. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done, pretty much. Uh, a lot of um, ideas that I have... And this guy I want to keep an eye on. Cohen, Co, Consichau? I don't know. Consichau is one we need to be keeping an eye on. We'll probably immediately loan him out. Uh, Mohamed Kudus as well. He's a good little player. I'm really looking forward to using. So what we need really is a class striker. Um, I think I'm going to move Klassen on. So maybe a midfielder. And then another centre-back out of the gate. And possibly a right-back. Although Divine Rent should come in here. I want to see how Wrench does off that right-hand side. Only 19. Plenty of time to grow. Um, so we'll be thinking on who to sign. They developed Hunt and Salem, the Brighton of that league. <laughs> True. So what money are we working with? 30, uh, 36 million. First of all, of course, we're going to get the Youth Academy set up because that's going to be critical to uh, this career mode. So we've actually got quite a few players in here already. And uh, Hugo Sanchez looks quite good. Off the bat. Is he a centre forward? He looks like a centre forward. I wonder if he could transition to a striker. He'll cry about it a little bit. But it'll be okay with it. We'll go with him for striker. Uh, no one else really. We'll get rid of some of the lesser players. That probably won't make it through. Uh, which obviously comprise of these guys. If they've not got above 85 potential. They probably won't have a chance unfortunately. So most of this will be gone. Some of these will be still about. And then Burns as well. A good little American goalkeeper here. We'll keep working on him as well. See how they go. Brian came back and was good. Garnacho bag. Told you with them back. I wasn't worried. Portuguese merchants didn't move me, unfortunately. Ah, uh, thank God you won that, man. I was scared that they might equalise. Because we held, it was one deal for us for so long. I was scared they might equalise. But ultimately, but on the uh, big boy Garnacho. And Varane was good as well. So inbox here. European International Cup. We've got those teams... Transfer window's now open. You've had a report. Christopher Burns in particular has outstanding ability and the potential to become a world-class footballer. Um, 
do the stuff that they want us to do. Take a look at the uh, scout report. We've got one player. That's useful. That Nestor Araujo, who doesn't actually seem too bad. He's a fucking tank, but he's a 30. And we don't really need a centre-back. Actually, no, we do need a centre-back, don't we? But uh, what we're going to do first of all, of course, at the gate, is get a youth staff person. We do have one already from Netherlands. Do we have... How? What's the other ones looking like? Ooh, yeah, no, we won't for now. We'll go with this guy. And we'll send him to the homestead for nine months to see what comes out of it. See if anything special is involved in that scout report. And we'll also start listing people. And loaning people. So, Benel, loan. Voss, loan. Hilson has that special something. Alright, but... Probably loan most of these guys. Some of them got great potential, so I'm happy to see what they're about. We'll transfer him. Uh, if you've not got a tag, then we're not keeping him. Pretty much. We'll move him on. Some already out on loan here, which ain't too bad as well. Kaplan. Uh, we'll sell him. Stecklenburg. He's going... Yeah, his contract's expiring anyway, but he's going to be going. And the rest of the team, I think we're okay with, aren't we? We will have to do some... Um, Contracts. I think we're going to sell David Klassen because I, in fact, actually, I have a plan for this. I've got a man that I'm going to bring back, and it might divide opinion. Donny van der Beek makes his return to the club to finally go to the player he should have been. Yeah, that's exactly who I'm bringing back. <laughs> I don't know if it would have divided opinion if I'd done that, but it's what we're doing. Donny van der Beek. I don't know if a straight swap's really fair, but we're going for it anyway. We're bringing him back. We're going to swap him with David Klassen. First signing out the gate. Donny returns. He is one I've wanted to... Uh, the first person I thought, oh, we need to get in. Donny van der Beek. And if we can get Klassen going the other way, it saves us money for a decent striker as well. So we'll do a player swap of Klassen here. And it should be straight swap, right? They want Con Conci Chow and 4 million. No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're offering you class and we don't want to get rid of Con Conci I don't know how to pronounce the name. Conci Chow. I'm going to have to find a way out to pronounce it. Uh, they don't want class and. What about Grillich and a bit of money? Thirteen million. Oh, they'll actually accept under value. Right, let's try something here. This might be a bit, might be a bit risky. They've accepted under Donny's valuation. He wasn't even on a contract expiry. He's just, he's just uh, not wanted at United. We'll take that. Twelve point five million. If we can get him in for twelve point five million, that's a cracking deal. And we've still got money to spare for other deals as well. Uh, we're in with Donny van der Beek and his agent. It'll be important. I don't know if he starts. I think I'm going to start my head of class and probably, but we'll uh, have a look. Four years. Come back to the... Uh, no, no. No release clause. Come back to the career where he started. And then salary. I don't really know what to offer him here. We'll say 60k because I don't really know what to offer him. That might be bad. Okay, that's fine. Without the bonus, though. We've done okay there. 60k, a bit of a pay cut. And Donny van der Beek... Is back in, back into Ajax. Don't even have the bid returns. <laughs> well, you never know. He might do good in this this uh, career. Signed Fred and Cavani. I'm not. We're not going for all of my night players. It was just Donny van der Beek wanted to bring back. Okay. We're not going for every. We're not raiding United like we do every raid build. I want to try and get some new different players in. I'm not going to watch this every time, it's just because it's Donny. He's back in an Ajax shirt. Maybe should have never left, arguably. 12.5 million for Donny van der Beek. First signing. Hopefully of a few. We do need a striker around 20 million. And we do need maybe a... 
Well, maybe we need to send it back as well, but we could probably possibly go with what we've got. But anyway, best possible deal, 12.9, and I've got 12.5. I've done a wonder there. Well, Donny van der Beek is back in Ajax. His value's gone down since I signed him. That's useful. But I still signed him for 12.5, so we'll take that. That's probably why his value's gone down, is because I signed him for that. Uh, quite young squad here. The oldest, I think, is actually Klassen, or Tadic. Actually, the Tadic is the oldest. We do need a striker. And you know what? This might be, um, this might be like, what's the word? Controversial, but we're going to put Tadic on the transfer list. I'm also going to put Klassen on it. Some controversial decisions coming out here. And Donny, see how much he can develop. Can he develop a bit more? What would do the best for him? Box to box, I think. That's kind of how he's going to be going. Could work on him a bit more there. We'll move forward a bit. So after the signing of Donny, we are on 20 million. And we need a striker, a centre-back, and potentially a full-back as well. Brian set up his scout report for the Netherlands. Imagine you made it look like that lad that used to chant 10 all the time. Ty Dilger or whatever his name was. It does a little bit. I tried to create the... Um, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of fucking stuff here. Uh, Ty just welcomed me and he's getting sold. Just scroll through these quickly. I know you... Yeah, but it's because you're 39, mate. Realistically. But yeah, I've tried to... Well, alright. Berghaus is excited for the Eredivisie. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I tried to make it as close as I could and it was not it was not a great creation. Kudos is class, could be fun to see him grow. Yeah, kudos ain't going anywhere. There's quite a few that ain't going anywhere, but some will. Um first of all, Yorel Hato will be going on a loan deal to Watford. I'm hoping if we get good deals for Klassen and Tadic, if we do get reports or uh what is it from them? We have got an offer from Inter Milan. If we can get good money for these guys, then um, I reckon we can get a good striker. I know we've got Brobby. Don't get me wrong. Brobby's, Brobby's there. But I want someone who's top tier right now, or at least it could be top tier. So let's welcome you to the club. You ignore his message and transfer listening. Poor lad. Well, he knows, he knows what we're trying to do here. He knows that he's not going to be fitting into the vision, unfortunately. And they've uh, accepted the 18 million that I've asked for. If that goes through, that's a cracking deal. And it'll give us a bit more money to work with. I don't want to waste all my money on a striker, so we're going to have to try and go about it a little bit more. Yuri Bass, was this one I loaned or when I actually put up for sale? I'm going to have to check. Tadic, I know I put up for sale, and he's got an offer in for him as well. But I'm just trying to remember, because my brain ain't on. Did I put him on transfer list? I did. Okay, right, cool. Then, yeah, he can go. What could we get from one point? Yeah, probably the top end to be honest. And then Dusan Tadic from Dortmund. We could push for a bit more money here. And I think I've got an idea on who I want to sign as well as a striker. I think I know who I'm going to go for. Once these deals go through, I'm going to make my move. There won't be. It might, it might be a long-term striker, but. For now, it will be a striker. Uh, Hato will go, hopefully, to Watford. And Gotts will get loaned out to... I didn't read the team. San Etienne. But no, I know who I'm going for striker. If Well, well once the deals go through for Tadic and Klaassen. And here goes Davy Klaassen. Problem is, lad, I do like Klaassen. I do like Tadic. But we need to start replacing these guys with younger guys. Ivan Tony perhaps feels like you use most of class strikers in other career modes. Tony was one in my head, but I've got a potentially a better one. And I think he played here. I'm going to have to refresh my memory, but it's someone who I think already played here. He might not have played here. I'm just going to check because my brain is not very brainy. He did play here. Okay, cool. Right, so I know who I'm going for. Or trying to go for. And if it doesn't work out, Tony's the backup. Tony was definitely one that was on the mind. But 
We're going to go for this guy. Played here before. Could come back and be a great striker and do the business for us. Is Sebastian Allaire. I don't know how much we'll have to pay for him, though. But he is going to be a class striker, at least for a few years. We could get some uh, get some quality out of him. We're not going to bid for him just yet, but he's on the list. And I'll add Ivan Tony to it as well. But my main target, I think, is probably Allaire. Either Allaire or Tony. Lad is about 62. What's he doing playing at his club? I'm hoping to loan him out. And maybe he'll improve. We'll continue going and see what else we get. And there goes... This isn't Dusan Tadic. It's somebody who's gone on the loan. I thought at first it was Tadic going for it, but it's not. Lovely story he is. Yeah, Al has got a fantastic story. It's Yuri Bass. Oh, excuse me. Hiccups. It's going out to um, Motherwell. Okay, I'm not going to watch every single one of these through. He's gone for... 1.8 million. We could have got 2.2. I'm not penny pinching too much. Although we do need to a little bit with this squad. And uh, is this is this Dusan Tadic? I think this is Dusan Tadic. Sorry, fella. We'll allow this exit to go through because he's been such a big contributor for Ajax. And it's a toss up between Alair and Tony. Our new strike will be, I think. Twenty-seven point five million euros for Dusan Tadic to go to Dortmund. I think we've done well there. A rating. Uh, we could have had thirty point eight. I wanted to push thirty, but I didn't want to, you know, make him run away. Tadic gone. Financial report done well. Fitch Jim loan offer from Montpellier. We'll uh, allow that. And Gutz's deal has gone through. Brian Brobby has an offer on him. No way we let him go. He's going to be the backup striker at least for this season. He might eventually. Going to um, go into the striker who will start ahead of maybe Allaire, but at the moment he's the backup striker. We'll put a development plan on him though, because he's very, very good. A very good young striker. Get that finishing up. And hopefully he'll kick on. Hopefully all these players will kick on. There's a lot of players I want to keep around. Berghaus will keep around this season. Some of these will keep around this season and replace next season if we don't have the money. Um, but some of them will be getting going. Pasvir can have another year as the backup. And we also need to renegotiate contracts here quickly. Grilich, he, he earns that much. We'll go there. Release clause. We'll negotiate because I don't want the release clause. He's going to Dortmund, mate. Looks like he's been enlisted in the World War. Well, he's not going to win any league titles anytime soon. Um, You're not going to be important, mate. I'm just going to say to you now, rotation. Okay, he wants to be important. So we might have an unhappy Florian Grealish as we go. Uh, two year extension. Fine by me. It's more the release clause I didn't want to uh, have. And money wise, he's happy to accept 16k. So we'll just bump it up slightly. He was happy with that. So we'll go with that. Grealish is done. Paz Veer, we're just going to delegate for hopefully another year. What's he earning right now? Okay. Another year sporadic. Sweet. Cool. And then Stecklenburg. We're going to sell him anyway, but we might as well uh, get him on a new contract. Just see if we can get a bit more money for him. I don't think he actually did an extension. Did either of these guys do an extension? Okay. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter anyway. We'll be getting a goalkeeper overhaul next year. This year, we'll just go with what we've got. Another exit. I believe this is a loan deal. It's Jorel Hato going out to Watford for the year. And he does have great potential, apparently, so we'll keep an eye on him. And we need to keep a centre-back around, of course, to back up Timber and probably Alvarez this year. I'm going to be straight up. It'll probably be Alvarez. And we'll focus on maybe a centre-back next year. Donny going in ahead of Grilich. 100%. Berghaus will push a bit further forward. And while Brobby's the uh, striker for now, we'll, we'll make that move in a minute. Calvin Bassi's one I want to kind of try out a little bit as well. He's still only young, still a decent player. I don't know how he's going to fit in, really. So, 
We'll go for a striker. Now, what's the money saying? 60 million. We're going to go in. Has the... The Tony Scout report hasn't come back yet, actually. We'll wait till the, uh, the Tony Scout report comes back. Hopefully, it comes back before the Lille game. It has not. And Montpellier will take Kian Fitz Jim on a loan. And ultimately, we haven't got the team ready yet, so we'll probably lose this. We're playing at Old Trafford, though. But uh, pre-season tournament, probably lose. One all draw, Robbie for us, David for them. David was an idea as well when I was thinking of signing, perhaps. Maybe we go for him instead. So I haven't got Tony's uh, rating yet. Hold on, let me just do a little bit of a search here. Sign Haaland. Yeah, okay, no worries. We'll just pay in installments when we get the money. Imagine if you could, though. That'd be so sick. All right, Jonathan David. So I'm thinking between David... Tony and Alair. I'm not sure which way I'm going yet. Another exit. This will be a loan deal going through. Mika Gotts to San Etienne. I don't watch every single one of these. If they're big players, then I'll watch them. But if they're like smaller players that are going on loans, then there's no need really. I have a Tony final scout report. 80 overall, 25 million to be slightly cheaper than Alair. Um, decent pace. We know how well we know how good Tony is from the season, so we'll have um I'll have a little uh, thought on which one we're going to sign. Kenneth Taylor wants that centre mid role; he'll have it, mainly because we don't have enough depth or maybe not enough money. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, full, we should be beaten, right? Yep, two 0 Divine Wrench and Brian Broby. And before we go any further, I'm going to put a development plan on Wrench because he could be. He probably will be the left back for the rebuild. And by the left back, I mean the right back. I just don't remember positions. But he's absolutely going to be involved for probably the whole duration. Get the work rates up as well as Timber. We might as well do a few development plans here. Exciting prospect, Yuri and Timber. Let's get him to his potential this time instead of fucking him over like I did in the previous one. <laughs> and then Vindal as well. And that one I really like in career mode. We'll work on him too. It's time, mate. It has to be done. You know what you have to do. I'm not signing Fred. I'm not having Fred and Van der Beek together. That's a recipe of shite. Although there is one person. Those cornrows made me think of someone that we could bring in. Although it would be from a rival club. Do we go for it? There is another man who I'm thinking in midfield that we could bring in. And I'm wondering, do we go for it? Do we weaken PSV? By bringing in Chavi Simmons. He's still... He's going to cost quite a lot off the bat. Maybe not this year, but soon. Chavi Simmons, perhaps. Veghorst to Ajax. I would, but he's on loan uh, United still. Alvarez offer. We're going to decline um, for this season. And probably for the seasons to come as well. He's still quite young. But Stecklenburg absolutely can go. And I do like Stecklenburg, but he is... Coming towards the twilight of his career. What, I've missed an inbox. Where have I missed an inbox? Oh, the international management that I don't care about. I should have turned that off, really. Calvert-Lewin's gone to Leeds. Okay. Mines versus Ajax. Final preseason game. 4-0. Wayne, Berghaus, Kudus, Brobby and Wrench. Future sign definitely would take most of the budget now. Yeah. Maybe down the line we go for Xavi Simmons. But the more... Like, it'll cost more the more we go... The league's coming up. Excuse me. If I had the big development schedule, he better not be at his potential already. How's his potential only 78? Oh, bollocks. We might have effed up here, but you never know. It might work out. Can't believe he's already at his potential. Uh, Chavi Simmons, scout report. 78. I mean, yeah. Not yet, maybe. And uh, Jonathan David, Ivan Tony, or Alair. Which one are we going for? I'll let you have the pick, Jordan. Which which striker are we going for? David, Tony, or Alaire? I mean, obviously, David's younger, but he's going to cost a bit more because of it. Could go for around 45 million. Tony could go around 30. Alaire could go around 36. Plus, plus three games in. Yeah, he's, he's already done. Uh, but Xavi Simmons will be one I was looking... I might look for... Down the line. 
Is there a way I could put him at striker, do you reckon? Finishing 73. Nah. Which striker? Needs reply. What needs reply? No, but nothing needs reply. I would like to go David, but yeah, it will take the budget, though. That's the only thing. But we'll go for it. Jonathan David. It'll take a big chunk of money. But he's a good player. I'm happy to bring him in. Long term investment. Be quite good. We'll put in his market value at first, see what the response is. They're probably going to say you'll have to go upwards on that. Yeah. 54 with a 10. Okay. So we'll go in the middle kind of area. It is going to cost us a pretty penny here to get David in. Let's try and fill the numbers a bit. It's not going to be an AD, I'll tell you that much for free. 47 and a half, they've accepted that. We'll go for that. Imagine having him up front. We'll still have 27 million. Or about 25 million maybe after wages. So do we go and sign someone else or do we just hold off? After we get Mr. Jonathan David involved. And even if he does get injured, somehow hopefully he doesn't. We've got Brian Brobby on the bench. It's an important position for uh, David. He wants crucial. That's absolutely fine. He probably will be. So we'll just try to test things. Five-year deal. He's happy with that. No release clause and a wage cut is fantastic, mate. Thank you for that. So at 4k, we've popped off. We're gonna flop Donnie in to save money. No, we're gonna we're gonna try Donny for a season, see how he goes. I don't even know who the new captain is. I'll have to think, think of a new captain. The mission needed a centre back. A centre back would be good. It's not like we're gonna it's not absolutely necessary, but if we have enough money, we could go for a centre-back. Because it means we can push Alvarez forward into CDM and have Timber work alongside somebody else. But it's kind of a money issue. But Jonathan David makes it into the club. Probably our striker for the whole rebuild, quite frankly. From Lille, 47.5. Probably overpaid a little bit, but... Sometimes you got to overpay for these cracking players. Only a B rating. That's not too bad. I thought it might be worse. Uh, we'll remove Alar and Tony. We'll keep Simmons there. Just keep an eye on him. Right. Team management. Robbie drops to the bench. No offense, Robbie. You're going to be good, fella. But for now, we need someone who is there. Or very close to being there. I think this team is okay, but I would like Kenneth Taylor either to maybe move to CDM or have him on the bench and have a, another centre-back in, push Alvarez back into CDM, perhaps. Or do we just... Hold on. Do we just transition Alvarez to a centre-back, maybe? I wonder how that would, how long would that take? It, do, it does then mean we need a CDM, but... We could move this man to setback. It'll only take two weeks. Do I want to try this? Should we try this? What height is he, first of all? He's not very tall, is he? Like, not incredibly tall. 6'2". Okay. You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm uh, taking charge here. I'm going to try this. Maybe moving Edson Alvarez to a centre-back. And bringing in a CDM, perhaps. Or maybe even having Grealish there. Because Grealish doesn't have bad... Had defensive stats and he's still got room to grow. We work his defensive work rates. I think maybe. I don't think maybe we need to sign anyone else. Let's try it. Oh, we're going to try it. Taylor, I'm sorry. You will get minutes, mate. Luca, I don't really know where to put you, to be honest, because you're not going to get involved. But I guess we'll keep you on the bench just in case. Um, But I think we're okay with that. I think that team for season one isn't too bad and it'll grow into itself. But we could always, you know, still another month. We can always think about it as we go. This is Stecklenburg. We'll let him have his moment as well because he is a legendary goalkeeper. Girona. I'm going to be honest with you. I've not even taken a look at the objectives. I'm hoping I'm doing something right. Right, let's take a look at the objectives. Um, youth development, we'll do that, probably. Get the streak of that, hopefully. 
Reach the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Oh, dear. Win the uh, league title. Win the Orange Becker. And make a profit off of youth players. I mean, this is they're all doable if they give me the time. Uh, a Rigier loan offer. I think there's another one that could grow while out on loan. So we'll give him a chance. Uh, Ertson, I don't think he was one who could grow. We'll sort him out in a minute. But Kenneth Taylor is going absolutely nowhere. Uh, we'll try and get a bit more for him. Delegate. We'll go for 1.6. Let's sell a player for less than 1.4. Try and get a little bit more money out of it. Probably won't happen. But if that Edson Alvarez switch to centre-back works out, it could be a hell of a season. Bernal loan offer. Absolutely. He's only a 59 rated, but if he grows well, fair enough. If he doesn't grow well, we'll move him on. And then Bernal loan agreement goes through to Bastia. We're just chugging on through now. Pre-match press conference, we don't care. We're against Volendam to start with. Let's just make sure all the players are in the correct places, because I do like to forget sometimes. I do like to forget to move them. Right, sweet. I think we're set. I think we're sorted. So, the first game of the season. Are we going to beat Volendam? I bloody hope so. This could be a bust off the gates. Berghaus is the captain. That's fine. 4-1, even though Berghaus missed the penalty. It's a 4-1 win. Jonathan David, Stephen Bergwijn, uh, or Sorry, David Hattrick on his debut. All right, I'm happy. I'm absolutely furious. This isn't a joke. In my Man United career mode, we lost to Hartlepool in the cup. You have to take in the piss. It's almost as if I'm there. Jabu Shabalal has come back to haunt his old team. Right. Uh, squad here. Burns is looking solid. Sanchez. Can he move to a striker now? Has he done his moving yet? Seven weeks. Okay. No. But he will get there, hopefully. Maybe that'll boost him a little bit. Rigger. Loan agreement. Yep. Conchow. Going absolutely nowhere. Go away. And Ertson, 1.6 is absolutely fine. Jonathan Davis, straight out of the gate. I was thinking about signing him, and I'm glad like you picked him as well. It's kind of a 50-50. This is uh, a loan deal, I believe, for that Ban Banel guy, Jaden Banel. I have to remember who's who in this squad. There's a lot of names to remember, and I don't really know Ajax a lot, to be honest. I know they're sucking in real life right now. I believe this is a permanent deal for um, Ertzen, is it? He's going to Luzerne. 1.6 million euros. Burns has incredible shooting. Absolutely lethal shooter. I mean, is he the, wait, isn't he the goalkeeper? <laughs> Alright, it's a departure every fucking day. Can we just do it all on the same day? Yuri Regeer going out to Genk on loan for the season. All right, Regeer out, Ertzen out, Pazvir, loan offer. That's not my goalkeeper, is it? It is my goalkeeper. Sorry, no, we're, we're having him as backup this year. And Hilnson can go to Inter Miami for a year. See how he goes. Taking a 38-year-old on a two-year loan, he'd be done by the end of those two years. He'd be retired. Manchester City's Laporte linked to PSG. How much money do we have to play with? 28 mil. Do we go for somebody else? Or do we just put faith in this team and see where we're at? Because I'm thinking we just go for it. And see how some of these players grow. If Van der Beek doesn't grow, he'll be out next year probably. Or at least benched. 20 versus Ajax. 3-1. Another win. Berghaus with two and Alvarez with the other. I'm thinking maybe a CDM. But I reckon Grilich has it down for this year. So I'm wondering if we just keep this money for contracts, etc. CDM perhaps. Yeah, that was my only, that was my only maybe thinking there. Edson Alvarez... Has finished his transition to a centre-back. Will he go up any? It might stay the same. He's gone up two. Oh, that, that's, I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm very smart. And 10 weeks and be 83. That's a cracking move from me, personally. CDM, maybe. Grilich probably could do the job, but maybe we get someone just a little bit better. We'll go and scout our favourite league for finding players. Because I've got no other football knowledge. Let's see what we've got kicking around in here. For around 25 million. The Donny experience started and ended in about two weeks. Well, that's the Donny experience for you. Casemiro might be a bit of our price, uh, out of our price range. Casado, maybe? 
just a little scouting on Casado there perhaps could come in. He'd be a good long term investment. Uh I'm trying to think who else. High beer is too much. Kamara perhaps. We'll get a couple of scouts here. Lavia potentially as well. I'm liking the thinking of Kamara to be honest. Out of all those. McTominay. No. Not doing McTominay. Ruben Nev, a bit too much. Oh, Nano, I know he grows quite well. We'll put a scout on him. If anyone else, or, uh, like if anyone has any ideas, and who else to bring in, then you're more than welcome to suggest. I think for now, that's who we go with. Xhaka, we could bring in. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, he's got the rating, but Lavia so from Southampton, perhaps lower overall to start at cheap, has 86 potential. True. Lavia's on there. Lavia's one I was thinking as well. Uh, no, Coin Chow's not going anywhere, mate. Fuck off. We'll wait for the scout reports to come through. See what the uh, costs are. Voss can go alone. Right. Rasmussen transfer offer. I think he was when I went to loan, so we're going to say no. And Alvarez is getting all off his block for him now. He's a centre back because that was a smart move. Kimmich is a shout, yeah. If he had unlimited money. Hilson's deal hasn't gone through. Whitecaps to um, take Voss, maybe. And the Voss loan rejected as well. Alright. FC MN up next. Grealish has already gone up to 78. It's another 3 1 win. Donny van der Beek with a brace. What was that about the Donny experience? Two goals from him today. Bergvine with the other. Not too shabby. We should be winning the area divisi though, to be fair. That should be kind of like uh, a yearly thing. That shouldn't be an, like an issue. It's more focused on Champions League. Getting through our group is what we need to be working on, really. Which is why probably a good CDM might be the move. We've got Casado, Kamara, Lavia, and Onana reports back. Onana, 75 rated, 21 years of age. Lavia, maybe still a bit low rated for what we want, perhaps. Casado, 78. And Kamara, 80. Now, some of these would... It would take our whole budget. Tony's gone to Atletico. <laughs> uh, but some of these would take our whole budget. And... What are we what are we looking at for money again? Twenty eight mil. It's oh, it's gonna be a tricky one. I reckon we just stick with Grillich to be honest, but any of these would work fine. Maybe Onana, but I might just stick with Grillich. You know, Dyson tackles and leadership. Lavia again, quite good, but still a bit uh, too young. I reckon. I've got an idea. And I don't know if it would work out. We sign Onana. And we sign Lavia as well. But we send Lavia out on loan. Shit competition. Bit my grandma could bag on them. She's been sleeping with the Angels for five years. Jesus Christ. So I'm thinking of signing these two. And maybe sending Lavia out on loan perhaps. Or we could just blow our budget on one of these. Caicedo or Kamara. We might have to do a swap deal. Uh, to make it feasible. CDM can be one of the biggest summer signings, to be honest. Do we stick with Grillich then? Keep an eye on these. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe. I'm I'm really wanting uh I'm really wanting Casado to be honest. But it's just about making the deal work. I don't know if we can. I'll sim a bit further forward and we can continue thinking about it. But Grillich is probably okay for a season. Robbie loan offer. Go the fuck away. I'm gonna start blocking people. Um, a Voss loan agreement from Cluj's time. Hopefully he goes. And Rasmussen with a loan deal from Blackburn. Could be fun. NEC up next. Should be another win, but 
we never know with this league. It nearly wasn't. A 3-2 win. David, Kudus and Berghaus with the goals. Hilton loan offer and a Rasmussen loan agreement. They'll go through. I haven't even checked our Champions League group yet. I don't know if we have it announced, but when we do, I'll go have a look before we sim ahead. And it's a loan deal going through. Silvano Voss going to Cluj. I think I'm just going to chill with Grilich for this year. Berghaus loan. Oh, hold on. We've got a we've got an offer we can maybe consider here from Dortmund, which is quite interesting, you know. Steven Berghaus, who's 30, 82 years of age, maybe won't grow much more, for Daniel Malin at 2.1 million. I'm inclined to accept this, you know. My thought would be move Kudus into the midfield and have Malin off the right. I might go for this. I'm not really sure because Berghaus, as good as he is, and he's been good this season so far, he is 30. He's not going to grow much more. Malin might have more growth. I'd do that, to be honest. All right, we'll go for it then. Fuck it. Yeah. All right, we'll bring in Malin. Was he not in the Eredivisie before? Didn't he move from the uh, Holland League? Maybe he was at PSV. He wants to be important. Get four years. Oh, okay, I click five back in. That's fine too. This will got a release clause. And a wage cut again. The good thing about managing Ajax and getting some players from the bigger clubs is they'll take wage cuts. That's worked. If they accept Berghaus and get the deal done for Berghaus, we'll get Daniel Malin in. And that's, you know what? Not someone I was considering signing, but it could work out fantastically. And he's moving Kudus to uh, Cam alongside Van der Beek. I'm bringing in Daniel Malin. Sky players, Mayer and Kramer, have gone to other academies. Wait, did I even look at the... Oh, I didn't look at the... Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even look at the scout report. Oh, fucking hell. All right. <clears throat> don't worry. Don't worry. We've got it. We've got to unlock. Right, let's have a look. Lawrence, Peters, he looks quite good. Marvin Mayer, he's gone because I forgot to look. <laughs> Jaden Kramer, he's gone. Simon, Simon. So good they named him twice. Let's bring him in. And uh, Kuypers will send away. He was at PSV. Yeah, I thought he was. I couldn't remember which club it was, but it was that, wasn't it? Okay. Sanchez still working his way through his striker drill. Peters looks like quite a good goalkeeper, to be honest. Maybe down the line. And Simon, Simon. I've signed him just because of the name, but hopefully he'll come out to be a very good player. Box to box, work grits up, passing up. He's not going to get any faster, though. I'm still waiting to... Busquets has gone to Inter, fair enough. still waiting to see if Daniel Malin comes in. And it's against Valveik. And another win. Berghaus scoring a brace, maybe on his last game, to be honest. And David getting the other. Five wins on the trot here for Ajax in the Eredivisie. Still wait to see if Malin comes through. He does. Daniel Malin, the newest addition to this squad. I'm have to change my manager's beard, you know. Although I'm not going to bother now. That's not fine. Doesn't look quite as good as I thought it did. I wonder if this will be another one that we do in one season. The Ajax game in real life has been suspended. What the fuck? I just got to think saying the Ajax game in real life has been suspended. Why? Oh, well, they were throwing stuff on the pitch. What fucking idiots. It wasn't the Ajax side, I don't think. It's 
storming the pitch and throwing smoke bombs on it. What the fuck? Who does that? And of course, the Barakhouse deal goes through as well. Sorry, Barakhouse. I mean, otherwise, if you were a few years younger, I would have said absolutely not, but it's an F deal. I could have got more money. Oh, whatever. I've effed up there then. But at least we've got Malin in. So it does. Move Kudus here. Taylor goes back to the bench. Do you think you could just try and crawl off the bench, sir? Although I do want to use you at some point. Malin. Oh my god. Uh, depth is not our friend right now. Let's try and pull some players up from the academy, I think. Because we've got no depth. And Peters will be one. And Sanchez will be one as well. I didn't realize we had absolutely no depth. That was a fucking pain in the arse. Another man on the way out. What the fuck's going on here? Who's? Why is everyone just leaving? Oh, Hilton. I just yeah, Hilton. I was trying to loan him. Depth might be an issue. We might have to get a couple of free agents, perhaps. It should be okay, actually. Right as the window winds down. Let's see if we get anything else. I do want to do is make sure Malin is a right mid and he's happy about it. Some more of these haven't really been loaned out that I wanted loaned out as well. Uh, Luca is here on loan. I mean, we'll keep him for the season for depth, but we don't need him. I thought uh, he's loaned out. Where's Malin? Oh, he's right mid. Will he, will he be okay transitioning to wing or will he cry about it? He's fine with it. Don't think there any more outgoings or incomings, to be honest. Do you see the fan wrap on Eddie Howe? How does security let him get out close? I have no idea. It's poor security from uh, that game, but... The guy who like removed him looked a bit like a big Triple H, which is quite funny. Honestly, we should have got a bit more money out of that Berghaus deal, perhaps, but... It's fine. My will work. Kenneth Taylor from Ajax to Getafe. Uh, who's... Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to answer it. It's not even going to answer. It's getting completely ignored. Deadass. Timber to Leverkusen. Who makes up this shit, man? That's getting ignored too. Probably could have just skipped through deadline day, to be honest. Well, that's the team we're going to be rocking then till the end of the season and... I might say it's a very good team, to be honest. I don't know how international management works, or international duty works, in the area of We've got the Manager of the Month award. Uh, Coincile loan offer from Newcastle. That's getting ignored. Melvin Jacobs, no. Julian Janssen, he's got decent overall, but shite potential. Nick DeVries. None of these are that good. Well, what do you know, I guess. And Peters is happy to be in the squad, even though he probably won't play. He's just there for depth. So did I get... Hold on, did I get... Oh, I'm top. That's why. I got my a month of work because I'm top. But our first tricky challenge comes against Feyenoord. And this is the one I'm probably scared of losing the most. We'll give it a go. And we win. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Feyenoord, I think, are top in real life right now, aren't they? Uh, Jonathan David and Mohamed Kudus, or is it PSV at the top? Either way, Ajax are having a stinky season and they won't win the Eredivisie this year. So that's kind of why I'm rebuilding them. Champions League! Who's in our group? Is it going to be the same groups as real life? Because if so, we might be snookered here. Liverpool, Rangers and Napoli it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't want Concert to go. Right. Let's go to the end of the Champions League group and see where we're at. Last game's against Rangers. Alright, let's see where we're at. Come. Oh, we lost Liverpool. Okay. Come into the group is what I was trying to say. Liverpool are pricks. They've won 14 straight league games. They've opened a 12 point gap from me, and then I'm third. Fighting for my life. Champions League life over here. <laughs> uh, it's not always easy. You always have that one team in the Prem that'll just fucking lift off into, like, the other side of the world. I think we're going to be out of our Champions League group. But that's okay. 
Because there are in real life, and we're still rebuilding here. Drew to PSV. Drew to Napoli. I think we might be goners, but if we can beat... In I mean, if we beat Rangers twice, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if we beat Rangers the first time. I wasn't looking at my screen. Oh, it was just two old draw merchants, are we? We beat Liverpool. All right, hold on. Sitting up. Oh, we lost to whoever that was. What the fuck? Drawing nil nil. League's gone a bit haywire. Are we? I don't. I don't know where we're at. Why is the league? What's happened to the league? We're still top. We've only lost once, but we're start, starting to draw quite a few. Okay, four points clear though. That's okay for now. Um, it was Excelsior we lost to. Uh, the bottom end, Volendam. Did we make it for the Champions League group? We did! Oh! Just about. Two wins, two draws, two losses. That fucking victory against Liverpool did it for us. My God. Lost to Liverpool, beat Rangers. Lost to Napoli, drew to Napoli. Beat Liverpool and drew to Rangers. You know what? We'll take that. We'll absolutely take that. In the Champions League, in the round of 16, we've got now... I don't know who we've got, but we'll go check. And the Eredivisie were top as well. So not a bad start. Not a bad start to life. Inbox. Some uh, scout reports coming in. Obviously, some will be gone. But we'll take a look at some of these now as well. Cohen Kramer. He's not very good. Rob Martins is already gone. That's fine. Dean Willems. I'm happy to bring him in. It's always goalkeepers that seem to be my best. Peters. No. Delu. He's uh, Cryova. That's fine. Kramer. No. Janssen. Maybe. Maybe a ch player there. The other Janssen. Not really. A third Janssen. He's quite good. Meyer's been signed up. Peters. It's quite a lot of the same names, isn't it? Joshua Van Dyke, I've just seen there. Is he any good? Josh Van Dyke. Actually looks decent. And the Qatar manager offer. And David's pissed as well. Uh, what do you mean if you don't think you're going to start getting a regular game? Did I not put you in the squad? Uh, you're in the... You're Look, mate. You're on the right. Uh, okay. The growth's been quite good, to be fair. Make sure all the position changes and everything are done. As well. Alvarez has hit his potential of 84, which is absolutely fine because that's fantastic growth. Marlon, he moves up to an 81 off of becoming a winger. Okay. Okay. And he could go up to an 82 in eight weeks. All right. I bet. Hugo Sanchez finishes his striker change here. He goes up to, or he stays at 59, but we'll work on the striking for him. Okay, you know what? This team's coming along quite well. I don't want to, you know, to on horn, but I think we're doing okay. And the Youth Academy will take a little gander at, sort that out. There won't be any departures in January, I don't think. Um, Jansen, are you a right winger? Yes, you are. Let's keep working on those uh, work rates then. Willems, goalkeeper. Some of these might get a little longer in terms of length of rebuilds because some of the teams will be more Youth Academy based. Like if I start doing smaller teams, which at some point I will, um, it'll be more Youth Academy based, which means these will be even longer. Or maybe I'll just do two seasons per um, stream. I'll switch them up to a different drill. Velasco, sweeper keeper as always. You always have to go sweeper keeper first for the positioning. And then Josh Van Dijk. Is he going to be like Virgil? No, he's not. He's more of a... He's not a CDM, is he? More of a bit further forward, I think. Kind of player. Put him as a cam, I think. See if he goes from there. Right, we'll go up to January. And see where we're at. Who have it, do we know who we've got? We don't know who we've got. I guess we'll find out who we've got as well. We've got to January transfer window. See where we're at. Hopefully it's still top. Heron Veen. 2-0 win. Don't know who that is in the cup. 2-1 win and 20, is that? 4-2 win. Might not be 20. I don't know. Right. Sweet. Don't buy that bloody fraud, Evan Ferguson. If he was a shooter, Tupac would still be alive. <laughs> Why has he not been good for you? I take it. Four points clear still. Not too shabby. As we go into the January transfer window. Um, All this stuff I don't care about as well. Monthly scouting report. Lawrence Delu, Stein Janssen, Calvin Janssen, Edwin Janssen. A lot of Janssens. Alex Peters, our fucking goalkeeper. De Vrijt and Backer. A couple of good players from there as well, but it's a lot of goalkeepers, cunt.
De Vries, is he a striker? He looks sure as hell looks like one. I mean, he could actually go defence. He could probably go anywhere. I think striker's probably his best bet. Working on his finishing stats. Blue, right back, it says, and it's probably correct. Let's get those pace stats going. Inverted. He's got high, high work rates, which isn't bad. And then Paters, the goalkeeper again. Obviously, sweeper keeper. Need to work on that positioning. Some decent, you know, players here. He's missed absolute sitters. Would sign Veghorst if I wanted a pressing merchant who couldn't score a bloody goal. <laughs> nope. Divine Wrench ain't going nowhere this whole rebuild. I'm telling you now. He's going to be the right back for the foreseeable. Urian Timber, same goes. He's already 82 raid. Hopefully he'll hit his potential in this career mode. Because I won't be uh, replacing him, really. Do we know who we got in the round of 16 yet? I better go check. Conchal's not going anywhere. Fuck off, cunt. Um, Calendar. Who do we get? Bayern. It always seems to be Bayern in the round of 16 wherever I go on these bloody rebuilds. It always seems to be Bayern first. We're probably going to get knocked out, but at least we've made it for the group stages. And this team looks quite good now. Grealish has gone up to 79. I'm glad I kept faith in him. Van der Beek still hasn't gone up, which is kind of concerning. Kudos, Bergwijn, David and Coincel. Getting a uh, good amount of goals there. Maybe we need to work on Coincel a bit more. I don't think I actually put a development plan on him, did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I'm just dumb. I mean, it's a very high possibility. I didn't put a development plan on him. Shit. Right, let's put a development plan on him. Because he could be a really good player. And Kenneth Taylor as well. Box to box. In fact, it's quite a lot of people. I don't think I put development plans on that I should have done. Divine Wrench is on one. Robbie is. Van der Beek has that special son. <laughs> Does Kudus have one? Kudus should have one. He doesn't. Right, I need to maybe make more time for these development plans. He can still get faster. Fucking hell from Cam as well. Bergvine, still quite young. You have to forget. Oh, you have to forget he's still quite young. Malin, Timber, Ruley. It's all, it's all kind of Millhouse, to be honest. Our top player is Alvarez, and he's rightfully the captain. Do you know what see you losing the league ones? The league's dead, can't lie. I'm, I'm hoping so, really. Sheldorup, you know. He's a good young winger. For now, we're going to say no, but that's not a bad deal to maybe think about in the future, getting Shelder up if it takes a while in this. Donny special, all right. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm not going to fucking Croatia, respectfully. I should have turned the international management off. Cambor versus Ajax. Please, I beg. We could not lose Cambor, do we? Oh, my... Oh, you know, sometimes you just, I should just speak things into existence, should I? I should just not speak. To just not speak. <laughs> Fucking Cambor beating us. I'm pretty sure they're bottom three. Uh, might lose the league once if I struggle against lower teams like I just did. I don't think there's going to be any moves out of the club or in the club. I think we are set for the rest of the season. And we'll see how the Champions League progresses season one. 2 1 win over Utrecht, Malin, and David. I think we're going to get the better end of the deal. I know we've got an F uh, rank for the Malin deal, but I think we're going to get the best end of it for it. I'm just going to skip deadline day. I'm not really arsed. Season one's not been too bad. Now we move to the Champions League, where we're almost likely to be knocked out. But you just never know, do you? We lost to... Who the fuck did we lose to in the league? Mate, lads. Alright. First leg of round 16. For that, though, apparently there's a scout report available. I have to remember to check these. Because I always forget. View scout report, please. Luke Kuypers. Braun de Vries. Bas Janssen. Leon Janssen. Oi. Bring him in. Nick DeVries and Calvin Kuypers. Hold on a minute, boys. Before we get into this uh, Bayern game, we've just got a hell of a player coming. Janssen. 
Joshua Van Dyke moves up from 51 to 59 as well. He's not like Virgil then. We do need to make profit off some of these used players as well. So if we can get some good ratings going up here, we can obviously sell some on and get that objective done. And um, this guy does not look like a centre-back, does he? He might be more of a striker. He's got better shooting than he does defending. Well, it does take 36 weeks and defending is okay. You know what? We'll keep defending with him. Um, get our defending stats up. 86 physical, 88 strength, 96 or 93 aggression. This man is a warrior. Yeah, we're doing Ajax this time, Josh, for the next one. Uh, next ones, I'll be... Uh, after this one, I'll be taking suggestions. And the first one I'm going to be doing is Valencia. This Bayern team is going to rip me apart with no mercy. Okay, maybe a bit of mercy. Only a 2-1 loss. We'll just relax. Kudos with our goal. Aussie men with a brace for Bayern. It does mean going to their backyard to try and do something, but... Crazy things have happened. Only a 2-1 loss. They're not going to really mark me down for not getting to the quarterfinals. I got to round of 16, will they? Second leg against Bayern. Please don't lose the Aranji Becker to MN. No offence, MN. I just don't want to lose it because I don't want to... Like, if we lose that and then win the cup game, I will never know. How's the rating looking? It's still green. Okay, okay. I went 2-0. I hope so. I hope so. So, second leg here at the Allianz. If we win 2-0, I'll be ecstatic. Ah, so one all draw. But again, it is Bayern and we ran them close. Marlin with a goal for us, but Coleman getting the, uh, the winner for them, ultimately. It's not bad. It's not bad. We got Bayern. Like, how did we get Bayern? Did they come second in their group? Am I not allowed to check the groups? No. They must have come second in their group. That's kind of silly. Oh, no, because we came second in our group. I'm an idiot. Of course we got Bayern. Updated reports on the Youth Academy, lads. Uh, Janssen's not really worked out too well in terms of potential. But there's some players obviously here that will get sold on and we can make money off of them for the objective. Youth development. We've done it. Poland. We've got an offer from them. And Bruyne with uh, another offer in here. Daniel Sanders. Looks decent. Hoop de Vries. No. Jordi Paters. Looks good. Dylan Jacobs. No. Stein Paters. And Martin. There's so many fucking of the same name. <laughs> We're going to have so many twins here. Given it our all in Champions League, so we might as well sort these players out in the Youth Academy and then we'll simply end of the season. See where we're at. This is the wrong page. Alright, these balanced kids. Paters, are you a wing back? Probably, but we're gonna put you right back because we don't use wing backs. Shouldn't take too long. And Sanders, obviously, the sweeper-keeper. Work on that positioning. Everyone seems to have shit positioning as a goalkeeper when they start, so we'll work on that. Yeah, I don't, Donny might have been a bust, to be honest, but, well, you never know. Could always still have him in the team as a backup, perhaps. Back on the bench like he's used to. Our last game in the league is against PSV. I'm going to go the day before and see if it's like a title race, see if it's an important game. Or if we win the league anyway. Drew to fire Nord, we'll take that. A couple of silly results this year, to be honest. Some stupid losses in the league, but I think we've done enough to win the league. I hope so, anyway. No, no draw to AZ. A win over Vitesse. And a win to end the month. Hopefully, we'll never know. And hopefully we've done enough to win the league. But I'm stopping it before... Oh, gee, uh, Pardon? What did I do wrong? <laughs> what? What's gone wrong? We got knocked out of the... Oh, you fucking pricks, man. We've done everything else, though. We should win the league title. Definitely 10 points clear. I bloody hope so, because of the manager rating. What uh, What was that, Jordan? What was that? <laughs> that was being 10 points clear. Oh, we're going to lose our jobs off the first season. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why? Why does this game hate me? Kaplan can go. 
Oh my fucking god. Just let you know I have nothing to report on you, Scott, this month. That's useful. Growing the club financially. What was the financial reduced play? I think I don't think we like did much more than that. Um twelve million profit. We've got three seasons for that if I got the three seasons to do it. Oh Jesus. I swear you were so clear. I thought we were so clear as well. But PSV have been even well it doesn't matter what we do against PSV then. Can we win just for you know the the uh, sentiment? Oh, at least we beat them on the final day. You know, that makes me a bit happier. They've won the league, but at least we beat them. All right. David, Kudus, and Malin. How's this team not won the fucking... Uh, I read a busy, by the way. I may be getting sacked. Of the first season. I don't I don't exactly know how, to be honest with you, because it's not been a bad season. I mean, we've not got any silverware. Um, Round of 16 in the Champions League. Semi-final in the Orange Becker. And... Um, Second place in the league. We're just like Arsenal. We are. We are Arsenal, but in the Netherlands. Oh my god, we only got 9 million off of that. We're going to have less money than what we did this year. Jesus Christ. Youth player unsettled. Lawrence Deleuze. He's one of the good ones. He's not accurate. I mean, we'll move him up anyway. Jordi Peters has gone up. And overall... Uh, we'll move Deleuze up and move him on. Because I probably won't use him. Quite frankly, uh, where's Jansen? He yeah, he's kind of rounded out as well. Maybe we'll give him a try next year. We'll leave the academy for now. Youth development, they're happy with it. Good. Maybe that'll save me. What an awful season, boys! What an awful season. Uh, Youth academy, a little update on it. I would just seen it, but yeah. Okay, seventy five to eighty three is potential. We could watch. Uh, we could actually work with uh, Janssen in the first team next year, perhaps. There's two Leon Janssens. Oh Jesus! Oh God! Maybe load this one out and put this one on the team. We'll see. Right, taking a look then. Ignore that. I said you wouldn't win the league. <laughs> Lose the league once. Yeah, I know. He's never gonna get it every year. <laughs> look, look at this fucking bullshit, man. PSV go off and win it by three points. Ajax in second, AZ in third, Fortuna Sittard uh, having a hell of a season to go fourth and get maybe a European spot. So are we in the Europa League? Are we in the Champions League playoffs? Who knows? Right, well, up next um, is another season of this. But let's look at where we all finished, everyone finished in this. So there it is, we came second. Orangi Becker, AZ won out. I'm guessing we got knocked out to, we got knocked out to Emin. Oh, fuck, it was the one I didn't see. It was the one I didn't see. I thought I got it. I thought I'd assumed I had it, but we knocked out. I got knocked out to Emin. And uh, AZ went on to win the Orangi Becker. Pre-season tournament, we came top because, I don't know, honestly, we didn't even have our signings then. The Super Cup was won by Frankfurt on penalties. Champions League was won by Leipzig over City. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. As long as it ain't City... Milan, who are our last rebuild, got to the semi-finals, and we got knocked out by Bayern. Europa League won by Manchester United over Napoli on penalties. How we've won a penalty shootout, I don't know with the hair in net, but we we have. Uh, Europa Conference League was won by Fiorentina over Nice, and that is it. Looking at the stats then of the team, most appearances came to. Geronimo Rulli, Yuri and Timber, and Jonathan David. Also, Stephen Berg went on 46 as well. Uh, goal scorers were David on 26, getting 19 in the Eredivisie. A good side, I think, but it was only gone up by one, which is interesting. Uh, maybe a new development plan needed for him. Bergvine having a good season, 18 as well. Kudus from midfield with 17. Malin with 8. Taylor with 6. And as we read down, a couple of these players. Maybe Brobby should have done a bit better, to be honest. Only 2 in 19 appearances is a bit concerning, but his growth's good. So we'll keep an eye on him. And then David, joint top assister alongside Bergvine. Grealish with six. Maybe a center defensive mid upgrade required. Malin with four. Coincial with four off the bench. Divine Wrench looking good as well with three from fullback. Um, but the growth has been good overall. It's just we've fallen a bit short of our expectations this year, um, which is kind of annoying. Player returns from loan. Why is he returned from loan now? Yeah, Leipzig have won the Champions League, but it's given them the conference graphic. Also, anyone who's interested in the biggest transfers before we go into Season 2. Biggest transfers of Season 1 were... If I can get to the actual menu. Militao to Chelsea. 
Aussie men to Bayern and Bellingham to PSG. Martinez is going to United. Let's have a little scroll down here to about 50 million. Bastoni as well. So decent moves here, to be honest. Berghaus probably should have got more for, but it is what it is. Uh, it's actually worked out long term for us. Ramos as well. Right, sweet. Going into season two then, obviously everything needs to be done correctly because we've somehow fucked it. It's actually a very poor season. And Don, yeah, Donny's not had a great season. And Kunku, Sunday by the Champions League trophy. Players return from loan. Right, improvements next year, boys. Second in the Eredivisie. Semi-finals, the Orange Becker. We won the pre-season tournament, however, and the round of 16 of the Champions League. It's not an awful season, but we should be winning the domestic competitions. Look at all those players returning from loan. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, what kind of surprise to you that we're not entirely satisfied with the team's results this season, but we'll get another season in the job. All right. Okay. Boys. I don't know what went wrong, but there's some growth that's happened in this squad now. It looks a lot better, and I reckon we can kick on and actually win something this year. Maybe not the Champions League, but definitely the Eredivisie and the Orange Becker, surely. And an exit to open. I think this is Kaplan, if I remember correctly. We did sell it in the last season, and um, we're not getting told who it is. But we'll go into this one. It's got Man United in it. Oh. I uh, might need upgrades, to be honest. Yeah, I think uh, off this first vision here, Ruli, I can give... I reckon we can give Ruli another season. A backup goalkeeper is necessary. Um, beyond that, CDM. CDM's probably... And maybe a sentiment for Van der Beek. You know what, actually? We'll sort that problem immediately. There's no issue there. Boom. Okay. Grilich might need to be replaced. But the rest of the team looks all right. The rest of the team's actually grown quite well. Ruli at 82. Timbers got up to an 84. Alvarez got up to an 84 as well. He's reached his potential, but he can still probably outgrow that potentially as well. Wrench, Vindal, absolutely fine. Taylor can come in for Van der Beek. He's got all the potential in the world to grow. Kudos is going to be there for a while. Marlon's done well. Davis done well. Bergvine has done well as well. So I think it really is just splashing the cash on a CDM and the backup goalkeeper. We've got some good players here back off the loan spells as well. Some will sell on a permanent and some we won't. But uh, out the gate, let's take a look at the objectives before we do anything. They want us to do sign at least three players younger than whatever, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, the youth development is the same thing. Get a, get a streak of seven clean sheets in the league. I mean, we should be able to do it, but probably not. Sign a crucial first team player to a midfield or forward position. We'll do that. Potentially. Will we do that? We don't really need to do that. I guess we I guess we can do. CDM counts as midfield. Um reach the quarter final. Again, win the domestic double. We didn't do the reduced player things, but we can make the profits from the player sales in the youth academy. Uh once I call them up. Right, so first of all, who are we getting gone? Because it's important. Delu, you can go to loan. There's going to be quite a few of these youth players out on loan this year. Uh, Sanchez will get a permanent gone. Bernal looked like he grew quite well last season. Uh, so we'll give him our chance. Give some of these our chance on loan. See how they do. I want to make sure I've got enough people in the actual squad, though. Keep Perry can go. Uh, Hato looks quite good. Still, Salah Adin can go. Riga can go on our loan. Kaplan is going to go once we sim the next day. Fitz Jim looks decent. Gotts looks decent. We've got plenty of players here. Pazver can go. Cause we'll get a new one. Well, actually, we could just go with Jay Gorter, maybe. Do we just go with Gorter as our backup, perhaps? What are the contracts looking like this year? Perry, Fitz Jim, Rasmussen. So, not real big names needing renewed, but we'll get them done. So, I don't forget. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. We'll just offer 3k again. We'll go here. 3.9. Bet. Fitz Jim. 2.9. We'll add a bit of pay to him. I'm not going to give him loads of pay, obviously, because he don't really uh, feature. Pazvere, I don't even really care about renewed, to be honest, because he's going to be going anyway. Voz will give that. And Rasmussen. We'll just knock it down a bit. Not three. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we'll go with that. There. Right, sweet. Contract's done. 
It's going to be a big contract here next year. Jesus Christ. Moises, if the budget allows it. The budget. What budget are we on? What are we saying? 68. It's, it's going to be a close one. It's going to be a tight fucking deal. But we're going to go for it. If we can. Moises, Kayasado. It's only the it's real only position we need to upgrade. Can I spell, please? Fuck sake. Moises, he's got to 79. Yeah, no, he's got he's plenty. He's plenty of money. In fact, actually. And we're still probably going to go for him, but I just want to check if we've got anyone potentially better on the transfer hub, like Burakar Kamara. Do we bring him in instead? He's 82 rated. Or even, hell, go for Xavi Simmons like we we're thinking of doing. <laughs> and we could use Donny van de Beek as maybe a, a make weight in the deal, perhaps. We don't really need a centre mid, like proper centre mid. But we do need a CDM or Onana, perhaps. Maybe not Onana. I think it's going to be Kamara or Moises. Two overall, or three overall higher, but two years older. I'm going to go for Moises because long term it's going to be... You know what, we'll put in bids to both of them and we'll maybe consider who we're going to go for after that. See what's better value for money. But Moises... Is younger could probably grow a bit more. We'll go 26. The valuation of the deal of the of the rip here. See what they say. The oh oh. I'm gonna say no because I do want to keep Van der Beek around as a backup. We'll add a bit more money to the deal, sweeten the pot a little bit. You know what? That's a cracking deal. That's a cracking deal. I might just go for that. We'll see what we can get for Kamara as well, but I might just go for that. I was thinking of going and selling Donny, but he's decent backup, even if he's not going to start. 78 overall backup, you can't complain about it. Kamara, we'll go for him. It's a steal, it's an absolute steal. We'll see what Kamara actually do we even want to. We could maybe sign someone else if we uh, just go for Kaiseido now. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Kaiseido, fuck it. Sorry, Kamara. Yeah, we'll go for it. I've got him for it now. And we can work on him really well. He'll have good potential as well. Casado okay, coming in. Important role, of course. He'll be the new starting CDM. Grilich will fall behind him, hopefully, with happiness. But he might not be happy that he's going to be back up. And Salah right. I don't really know where to put 30. I don't really know where to put this. They're happy with it. Maybe I've overpaid. I probably have overpaid, but just want to get a deal over the line. The transfer fee was good, so maybe we can allow a little bit more for the wage. Moises Kayasado, the first signing of season two. The beauty of this like doing it with Ajax is there's so many young players that will continue growing that we don't even have to make too many signings it's just kind of little bits where some of the players are a little bit older and we can bring in some young players like Casado and still have plenty of money left over I think we're going to send the Youth Academy Scout on another tour around Netherlands as well I'm trying to get some more homegrown talent excuse me hiccups could have got 25.6 but 27.2 is absolutely fine and I think that's probably us we'll keep these on the back burner uh could we make... Oh, actually, could we make a move for Xavi Simmons? Do we, we don't really need him, do we? We don't need to be silly. Dorami there. Who did I just sign? Brain. Work. Come on, wake up. Casado. Dorami goes back to the bench with Grilich on the bench. I think I'm happy with this, you know, except for Pazveyer, which we can either just move... And bring in Gorter. Or we just go for a better backup. I think Gorter probably does the job. From Netherlands. 73 rated. Tall. Or hell, we could just go for a goalkeeper. I mean, I'm fine with Ruli for one more season. But maybe we could go for a goalkeeper instead. We'll see who we sell. Perhaps. I'm not really looking to sell many people though. I'm happy to keep all of these about. Maybe some of the reserves that probably won't get a game. But they will generate a lot of cash. 
keep working through these. Lone, he's going, he is going. He's got a special something, but um, uh, he can find out another club. So Rami will give another loan year two. And do we give Coinsal a loan? Maybe. No, we don't because we don't have enough depth. We've done that all on the first day. We've done an objective already. Kaplan's gone. Vindal offer from Mallorca. Get the fuck away. And a bit of money to spend, which we've already spent some of. And we've done an objective, but the game hasn't decided to... Oh, because it was important. It wasn't crucial. Oh, bollocks. Eek. Well, it's fine. If we do the other... If we do the objectives, we're good. David ain't going nowhere. Plenty of player chats here. Have a look. Let's see what I fucking say here. Yep. 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 Yeah. Just scrolling through them, giving them the same answer. I don't like reading these anymore. Right, sweet. Youth Academy. Do we call some people and send them out on loan or even on a transfer? There's still some good potential here. Janssen I'd like to maybe even involve at some point. And the other Janssen will sell, I think. Not because he's bad, just because I don't want two of the same name. The Vries looks fucking good. He gets a loan, I think. And Peter's going to have a loan too. And Willems. Just calling everyone up. Player's too young. Okay, well, maybe not Willems then. Get some of these on the loan list. Peter's, we know he's got good potential. He doesn't quite say yet. De Vries, an exciting prospect. Off you go. Leon Janssen, we're going to sell you, mate. Nothing against you. It's just we've got Leon Janssen already and we don't really know. Need multiple Leon Janssens. I think that's us, isn't it? For uh, moving players about. We will give a development plan to Casado, though. That's very important that we do that. And he'll go as a deep line playmaker, try and get some of that passing up for now. And as we move, I don't think we're going to sell anyone. Maybe a couple of loans. The ones I've put on the thing. Um, youth development. We've done that. Got's release clause met. Oh no. Wait, hold on. Why has this cunt got a release clause? Is he going to be anything special? Or can we just let him go to Stoke, do you reckon? Where is he? Where is he? Goats. He... Do we go for... Renewal? Or do we let him go? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to renew it. He looks quite good, you know. Short sort of lineups, yeah. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, we'll do that as well. But I'm gonna keep goats about and send about on loan. Prospect, yeah. Got a bit more money if that's what you want, fella. Uh, three year extension. Him. He's on a two year already. And no release clause. Bit of a pay rise, but that's fine. It does mean Stoke can't get him. We'll take that. He's a good little young player. We'll happily send him out on loan, but on the permanent, you can fuck off. My only thought, again, is maybe not a backup goalkeeper, but Gorta might do the job. And Leon Janssen is someone I want to involve, if possible. Um, What money are we on? Did I send the scout out yet? I did not. Do the same thing again. Nine-month trip round the uh, homestead. I think if I do go for a backup goalkeeper, I know who I'm going to go for. But maybe we just hold on this year and then completely revolutionise the goalkeeper position next year. Gods isn't going now because we signed that new contract. Unuvar could go, but first of all, Geronimo Rulli hits an 83. He's hit his potential. So for one more season, we'll have him and then we'll find somebody else, I think. Gorter can back up for now and then we'll kind of revolutionise and uh, revitalise the whole goalkeeper situation. He's still got growth to do here, this man. So we'll allow him a bit more time. And an offer from Ghent for Univar, who I wanted to sell. We ain't doing no swap deal. We'll go straight in for money. And we're going to uh, uh, go ask for a 4.5. 
And they've said yes. Why did you say that in the first place then? Why did you just go for him for 4.5, huh? Calvin Bassey's going nowhere. At least not for a while. Decent backup. I'd like to use him more, but we've already got some insane centre-backs. <laughs> That's the issue. Uh, Fitz Jim on a loan to Bruges is absolutely fine. And before the Marseille game, we will have to make sure the lineups are correct. But I'm confident this year, you know, because of, because of the growth. And Paz Ver can go for whatever. He can go for free. He can go for a Happy Meal. Nothing against him. He's just not... He's 39 and he's going down in overall. And that'll be the loan out for, I believe, Fitz Jim. No, Univar, permanent deal. I wonder if the Fitz Jim loan deal will go through. I'm hoping it does. Uh, you could have got more for him. I'm not getting 6.9 for him, though. No chance. The game's tripping. All right, let's see what we got, then. This team looks pretty good. We'll have to figure out how we're going to... How kind of Taylor grows if we want to switch that up. But beyond that, I like this. I really like this. I don't think we need to move anyone from here on. I think we're good. I think we're fine, like that. I reckon we go far in the Champions League, you know? I reckon we go deep. Depending on our draws, obviously. Right. Against Marseille. I'm going to talk all that shit and then lose to Marseille, ain't I? No, 4-2 win. Uh, Bergvine with two. David and Malin with the others. Decent. Decent start, that. Do we play United in this preseason? No, we don't. We play Villa and Napoli. Ugh. Wanted to play United, man. Right. That is uh, another loan deal for Fitz Jim. That does go through. And then another exit. And that is for Pazveyer, who's going to Utrecht. I wonder how much money we could have got for him. Could we have got more than 310k? 340. Yeah, I'm not penny pinching over that. Villa next then. Who have they got? What's their team looking like? They've got Firmino, Unal, Odriozola. They've still got Sanson. They've got Kamara, who I was considering signing. And Emi Martinez still in there. We should win. 2-1 win. Kamara scores past us. He's just trying to show why we should have signed him instead of Caicedo. But Caicedo also scored, which is kind of let him down a bit there for that attempt. Kudos for the other goal. I'm a bit more confident this year because of the overall growth and the fact that there's still so much growth in these players. I don't see how it could go wrong, really, apart from if the game just fucks me over. <laughs> Girona, yep. Peter's loan is absolutely fine. The uh, Bunnell loan is good too. And to Kenneth Taylor... Uh, move will not happen. He's still in 21. I forgot how young uh, Taylor actually is. So we'll uh, put him on a development plan. I think I already have, but we'll make sure he's on one. Just in case I did forget. So he's rotation, but he's, no, he's box to box still. Um, do we move it? I think we. I think we just stick with it. You know. Actually, ball winning midfielder. It gets defensive work rates up as well. That works for me. I think we've done good here, even if the uh, manager rating's still down. Final game against Napoli. Still got Kvart Skelly. Yeah, they've also signed Gonzalo Ramos. And a 2 0 win, though. It doesn't matter who they've got because Malin's got twice. This Malin deal might actually be the steal of the fucking rebuild, you know. We've got money and Malin for Berghaus. Just remember that. I think we won the uh, preseason tournament again, and Peters will get a loan out to Braunschweig. But I think that Malin deal might be the steal of the fucking century. He's still growing as well at 83. This team, I quite like the look of this team, I'm not going to lie. My only concern is the goalkeeper, but I reckon it'll be fine. Maybe Bergvine. I don't know how much more growth he has in him. Yuri Rieger goes out on loan to Girona. Gundogan just scored a brilliant goal. Fuck off. Can Say just go away? So you could just go away and not come back. That'd be fantastic. That'd be exceptional. Wrench is emerging as a preseason surprise. Bunnell on a one year loan is absolutely fine. And Hugo Sanchez, we're going to sell on. It's not going to be good enough. 
In fact, actually, what I'm going to do in a minute, obviously, once we get past this. That'll be Peter's going out on a loan to Braunschweig. Which is absolutely fine. He'll grow well. But also, we are going to put Janssen, the uh, defender, on loan because I do want him to grow. And maybe we sell him on and get that objective done. Because he's going to be a good player. I just don't see how he's going to do it here. For now. And there goes Hugo Sanchez. Not the worst striker, but not going to grow up with anything special. He goes to Chindia for 540,000 euros. Could have got a bit more for him. Maybe should have got a bit more for him, but I didn't try. And next it now, I believe, on loan for Banel. Is this the Banel deal to young boys for another 12 months? Got some good prospects in here, man. First game then against Valveik with our brand new team. We should win this, but watch us lose. I just, I just don't know. I'd like, I'm, I've, I've got some cracking players, and I could just read this game from a mile off. I can actually, you know, I might as well just predict this game. Haaland just bagged, of course he did. Haaland, man. Right, Champions League, good. Distract me from what just happened there. So I'm guessing we're in the Champions League again. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. That's fine. We're against Genk. Oh, are these the playoffs? Oh, are we in the Champions League playoffs? Okay, Banel is gone. Sanchez is gone. Peters. Um, another Peters loan offer from Krakowia. We'll put that through. We're in the Champions League playoffs. Qualifying rounds. And the scout reports here from the boys in the academy still. Looking quite good. But yeah, it's the uh, qualifying rounds of the Champions League against Genk. It's a 4-1 win. Okay. David, Bergwijn, David again, and Malin. Hopefully, do we play them again? How does, I don't know how the qualifying rounds work. I'm going to be straight up with you. Never had to worry as a Man United fan. Oh, we play them again. Okay, it's two legs. Krakowia. We'll take Peters. And we better beat Vitesse or I'm going to be pissed off. This team is fucking good. A bit tired, but fucking good. I don't know. I don't, I'm going to need some intel on this one. They've had two chances to score them both. And we've had seven shots, six chances, and not scored any. Do they have fucking Neuer in net? Taylor and Alvarez are dropping 4.9s. Nah, like... Maybe we do need to make one more move. I don't know. The magic rating's gone up even though we've lost twice in the Eredivisie so far. And uh, Saladin will be going. We'll just accept it. I don't understand. <laughs> First reporting, Dennis de Jong looks shit. Jan Jacobs looks decent. Or Jacobs. Giovanni Martins. No. Jos Simon. And our goalkeeper, Jordi Sanders and Christian Kuypers. Are we bottom of the era divisi? Kind of just curious. <laughs> Would be quite funny. We are. <laughs> I don't understand this game at all. Oh, uh, if we get sacked, it'd be funny, but also not. I don't know what's up with Ruley though, because he should be uh, saving a lot better than what he is. Our deal going out. I believe this is Peters to Krakowia. I didn't know who it was. I just read on the screen. I'm going to be honest with you. Right. Second qualifying round against Genk. We should be through. I don't know how many qualifying rounds we play. And even if we lose here, we're 4-1 up. So, we'll see. 3-0. Yeah, okay. We've absolutely smashed Genk. Casado, Sanchez, and David with the goals. Can we not do this in the fucking, um, the league as well, lads? What does the bottom of the league to season's end? Rebuild. Rebuild, boys. I promise. <laughs> the little loan offer. He goes out to Sarang and a Leon Jansen, the uh, winger, has got a deal here. Try to get two million for him. Oh, I'm doing this a long way, but it's, it's done it now. We're doing it now. All right. Boom. So accept a two mil. Sweet. 
And let's see if we can fucking recover it in the air divisi. Now departure. That is Anas Saladin. He's going to West Brom for 3.3 million euros. Probably not as much as we could have got for him, but who cares? Sanchez. Oh, this is um, D Divine Wrench is back up. Okay. So against Herovine lads. <laughs> Please. Why can't we win a video game? And we had to fucking draw that with Vindal. Van, I thought that was Van de Beek for a second there. I shot myself. But I remember he's still on our bench. Fucking hell. We stink in the league. I'm sure we'll turn it around. But like, what is this really? We've not got playoffs against Lyon, have we? Bergvine's reached his potential. Le uh, De Leu has gone to where the fuck he went. I'm, I'm all over the place, boys. 83. Okay, it's not bad. Can he go anywhere else? Nah. All right, sweet. Maybe a departure for Bergvine next season if we keep it. If we keep our job, is what I should be saying. Kudus. Let's try and work him somewhere else. Still a lot of growth from this man. I mean, realistically, with this team, we shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, sorry, mate. Uh, yeah, sorry, Bergvine. I'm, I'm not I'm not the boss. I mean, I am the boss, but I'm not, you know, picking the teams. Now a loan goes out. Leon Janssen. It's actually a permanent deal. I thought it was one of the loans. Hopefully that'll help us towards our 12 million, 12 million target we have to make in three seasons. Could have got a bit more, but we didn't. And Leon in the second qualifying round, he might actually not make it through, depending on their team. Uh, okay, I mean, he's, yeah, he's beatable. Uh, on uh, Is that Harvey Elliott right wing? And Ryan Kent left wing? Okay, please. 2 0 win. David with a brace. Sweet. At least we're winning somewhere. Fuck knows what group we're going to get. I can't believe we had to go through the qualifying playoffs because we didn't win the one league you expect us to win over and over again, man. The Lou's gone to Sarang for a year. Oh, mate. Right. Surely. I might be fucking jinxing it here, but surely we beat Go Ahead Eagles. Absolute have to. They're one of the worst teams. No offence to them, but they're one of the worst teams in the league. Although we're below them. Please. Why are we... Uh, do we need a new goalkeeper? Ruley, are you alright, mate? Taylor with a brace, Bergvine and Malin. We won, but I think we made it. We might need a new goalkeeper pronto. I don't I, I don't know if I want to continue with Ruley if he's going to be like this. He seems to be alright in the Champions League. Spurs want Bergvine back. <laughs> you know what? We actually could get in someone better. What do we do with this on a serious note? Do we sell him back to Spurs and get someone in better or do we stick with Bergvine for one more season? Because if we do sell Bergvine, I know who I'm bringing in. If we don't sell Bergvine, then we'll not obviously sell Bergvine. Do we want to sell him here? I'm, I'm baffed. I'm between. We could get a good bit of money for him. A good chunk of money. And he's at his potential. I'm going to try something. And if they accept it, they accept it. I don't know exactly who I'm going to bring in. Steven Bergwijn. Maybe on his way out. I can't turn that down. I can't turn that down. That's a fantastic price. I can't. I can't turn that down. Sixty-four million for Bergwijn. We've made. We've actually done really well with him, to be honest. <laughs> they come with an initial bid of forty-seven point seven, and we've got sixty-three million or sixty-four million for him. Right. Rick De Vries will be going out on loan. Hopefully, to Hanover. He's going to be a class striker if we if this ends up being a long-term rebuild. So we won 2-0 in the first leg. Second leg is another 2-0 win. Malin and Casado with the goals. And I think that's us into the Champions League. I don't... How many playoff rounds do we have? I'm not ready for PSV. 
And this is Steven Bergwijn, I think, leaving. Wasn't initially planning on it. But there's no reason why I shouldn't accept 64 million there for Steven Bergwijn. A man who's hit his potential. He won't get hired in 83. We fleeced Spurs here. Wasn't one I was planning on selling this soon. But there's no way I can turn that down, can I, really? He had a great first season with us, but I can't turn it down. And I've got a very good idea if I'm going to bring in. You can probably guess. It's 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 probably very guessable. And Dorami goes out on loan for uh, another year at Atalanta. And Steven Bergwijn, 64 million. We've done a we've done a worldie there. It might not give me an A, but I think I've done an A deal there. It's done me a worldie. A, yeah, absolutely fantastic that deal. And I know who I'm bringing in, <laughs> and it is a Netherlands player. You could probably guess who it's going to be from Liverpool. We're going to switch him back out to the left wing. I know he sent it forward. We're going to switch him back out to the left wing. Do we have the money, first of all? We should do off of that Bergwijn deal. Oh, oh, you know what? We have plenty of money. All right. Getting him back. Or I don't know if we got him. I don't know if it was Ajax or if it was PSV. No, it was PSV, wasn't he? Bringing him back to the Eredivisie. It's going to be a big fee. It's going to be the biggest fee we've paid. Cody Gakpo to return to the Eredivisie. 80 million going in straight away. They want what now? All right, this is going to be a difficult negotiation. Jürgen, mate. Jürgen, you're going to be fucking pissing me off in a minute, aren't you? 95. It's a bit of an overpayment, but it's a class deal if we can get it over the line. Cody Gakpo could be finding his way back into the rid of Vizzy. Crucial, obviously. He'll want a big pay packet as well. That's the only problem. Long-term deal. Disregard release clause. And the money is going to be an issue here. We're going to put 80, but I don't know what I'll say to that. Tell me tell me what deal you want then. I don't like... What, like how am I meant to know? I mean, obviously he's earning stupid amounts at Liverpool. I don't really know what I'm meant to do there. Fuck, have we got enough time to do this? Have we got enough time to pull this off? We've got exactly a week. Maybe, just maybe we'll have enough time. We'll have to use... I don't know who the fuck we're going to be using at winger. Oh, Jesus. It's, it's all gone to pot here a little bit. Man's going nowhere. Fuck off. It's got a bit silly here. The Rise will go to Hanover. And Hilson will hopefully go to Pisa. It's been a bit of a situation here right now because I don't know if we're going to get a deal over the line. And I don't know who, who are we using at left wing for, for fucking uh, PSV. Gots. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, we're going to lose this probably. But we'll give it a go. Right, quick sim that. And we drew. You know what, I'll take that, honestly. Should have won, maybe, but we'll take that draw. Mate, I'm fucking stupid. I made it to a final and fall, guys. And it was a course you had to run. I fell a bit behind the thought. I saw a shortcut to the finish. I leaked to the start of the bloody level. <laughs> uh, best fall, guys, player out there. Right, Hilson goes on a loan. Hopefully it goes through. And that'll be Hilson going through. It won't be. It'll be De Vries going through to Hanover. Right. Now we need to try and pull this off because I don't know if it'll even let me. If it doesn't let me, we're in the bin a little bit in terms of ideas. Please, let me renegotiate, fella. Right, we'll go again. From the from the off, we're going to go with a 90 bid because I want to say something like that. 111. All right, we'll go 95 again. If I have to pay more because I screwed up the contract, I'm going to be pissed off. Let's make that clear. Youth. <sighs> right, sweet. 95 again. Got to get close to his wages at Liverpool. I know, but I, I want them to say the wages. Why do I have to do it? Right, get this right this time, or we don't have a left winger for the season. Crucial, yes. Four years, I think five probably, actually. Release clause, fine. Tell me the money, please. 
100k. I said 90, didn't I? Oh, I said 80, actually. You know what? It's fine. All, all, all I wanted was for you to tell me what wage you wanted. I don't know where, where the fuck to put it. They could have counted off of 80 to 100. Right? Right, Gakpo, you've been a bit of a struggle to get involved. But it's a class signing, and we've done it. Just about on deadline day. Makes Alvarez the captain. It's a definite upgrade on uh, Bergvine, definitely. But at the same time, was it worth the effort? <laughs> Just to spend 95 million for Gakpo to bring him back to the rid of Izzy. It might not even work out. We might still lose this fucking season because I don't know what the start of the season has been, but not been great. Right. Well, Gakpo's in. Back from Liverpool. Back into the era of Izzy. Probably would never happen in real life, but it's a fun of rebuilds. We don't we want a deal for 95? What What was the best deal we could have got? Probably 90 or something, isn't it? 89.3. You know what? We've done well then. We've done very well. And um, the rest of those players. Kind of just still on there. I'm not really ever going to get them, I don't think. <laughs> now, make sure to put Gakpo into the starting 11 before we advance any further. No offence, Gots, but we've got Cody Gak. He's out on loan. Or out on loan. Out on international duty. Switch that man to an L dub. Maybe even go a bit further. He's a top-rated player in the team now. Just coming in and taking top spot. Going back to the L-Dub. We'll take just two weeks. That's fine. I think Cody Gakpo is another one from PSV. So we're kind of just rubbing all their players. Any loan deals on the final day for some of our players, perhaps? That one's going. And that is Christian Hilton. Or Hlinson. I don't know how to pronounce that. He's off. Off the Pisa. We'll just see what comes through. We, I mean, we've got our deadline day signing that we wanted to get done. Danny Ward's gone out on loan somewhere. I feel sorry for that club. Do we know our Champions League group yet? Do we even know if we're in the Champions League? I don't even know if we're in the Champions League, you know. Mets are ripping me apart. Oh, God. Is that for the Fall Guys thing? I didn't even see that. I've just seen it now. I think we're going to get more loan deals out, which I guess is okay, because it means we've got depth. But also, I kind of want to get some of these loaned out. Which is a bit annoying. I guess it's 50-50. It's good and bad. I'll close the window. And with manager award. How have I got manager award? I've been shit. All right. Taylor's not going anywhere. How did I get manager award? I mean, I mean 30. Explain. I've won once, drawn twice, and lost twice. How have I got the manager award? I'm sixth from both. You know what? It's fine. 20 in Sparta, Rotterdam, top of the league at the moment. Did we get a Champions League group? Did we, are we even in the Champions League? We've got Bayern in our group. Oh, lovely. Sevilla and Zagreb. I don't think we're making it, boys, to be honest. Jesus. What a group. Right, well, we'll see what happens. I'd just like a bit better in the Eredivisie as well. And maybe a shock in the groups. Two all draw against Bayern. Lost to Sevilla. Fuck, I don't want to get packaged. No, you didn't miss much. We're just simming now through. Managed to get Cody Gakpo sorted. So we're just simming through now to the end of the Champions League group. Which I think we're going to be knocked out of, unfortunately. Why are we... I don't understand. This, I've built a... Well, I'm not, maybe not the best team yet, but we're getting there. Although we've had Man United and Newcastle, so I can build the best teams in the world and still not get anything. So, I mean, it's not really too surprising. Bayern, please can we beat you somehow? Cunt. Yeah, I think we're out of the group, boys. Unless we can beat Sevilla, maybe. Do we stay in if we beat Sevilla? I guess we'd have to worry about that because we're drawn. Are we out of the Champions League group or are we through? That's the, the key question. We're second in the league now, only two points by Firenord. We've recovered it from our awful start of the season. So, you know, that's good. 
That's a bit better. Around Jay Becker, are we still in it? We are. There's only been one round. And we didn't play in it. Okay, that's fine. Yep, it's fine. Uh, the most important question. Are we still in the Champions League? We are not. It was a it was a difficult group, really. I'm not I'm not sure if anyone like expected us to make it through that. It was not the easiest group. So we'll drop to the Europa League for season two, which we could win, which uh, is fine. The Europa League could be fun. It could be a fun little run. But ultimately, Sevilla's come top of their group ahead of Bayern, which is mad. Zagreb beat Bayern. This group was all over the joint. Roma, Man United making it through. See Chelsea are out as well. Oh, Chelsea are out. There's some teams out here that I'm kind of scared of. PSV didn't make it through either. At least I'm better than them. But I guess it makes sense for us not to make it through. On one end, but on the other end, I would like to, you know, make it, made it through, but it, it's fine. Right, delegate the loan for Leal for half a season. Voss as well can have a loan for half a season to 20, even though they're in the same league, but we'll allow it. And then Pierre can just go for whatever. I should really make more, you know, pay more attention to some of these transfers, but I, I don't. I'm going to be honest, I don't. Right, let's take a look at the monthly scout report, even though we've missed a few months. See what we got. Leon Meyer, not good enough. Giovanni Jensen, another Jensen, but he's quite good, you know. Thomas Paters, now Paters. He's. Well, well, we'll see. And our Paters as well, he's shit. Jordy Paters looks quite good, but he's been poached by our club. Why is he letting other clubs have access to the reports, is my question. Oviedo goes. Now Van Dyke, and now Simon. Now that he's a that good to be honest apart from the ones already signed Peter Martins give him a risk Giovanni de Jong give him a risk Sven van Dijk looks like a very good goalkeeper Kai Peters and Simon Sanders okay it's a long process it is it's gonna be a long it's gonna be one of the longer rebuilds to be honest because we've got like we should have um domestic success sorted but Champions League might still take a little more time. It'll probably take more than three seasons. It might be a part two for this one as we go. But y Jacobs looks very good. Is he a right back? He is, but he looks very fucking good. Potential's fantastic. Van Dijk, his potential is not really that great, but we'll keep an eye on him, keep some time on him. He looks decent-ish. Simon as well. His potential's kind of run out at high eight or mid-80s, so that's not bad at all. Could get good money off of him. If we don't use him. Paters. Another Paters. Fucking hell. He's a winger. Of course he is. We're back to this again. It's like a Hartlepool career mode video. Wingers. Giovanni de Jong. Could be a centre-back. How tall is he? 5'11". We'll, we'll deploy him as one. Get those defensive stats up. Giovanni Jensen. He looks good. He's probably a striker, I think. Although his work rates are low. We're going to put him as a striker anyway. He can fucking work the long winding road to that striker role. And Martins is a winger. And not a very good one. But we'll give him time to get better. And then we'll sim up till, I guess till January. Might as well see where we're at. Obviously January transfer window comes about. Do we need to make any upgrades? I just realized we beat Isaiah Alkmar, who are one of our fucking rivals. 5 1. And they were drawing to Volendam. I hate this team. Alright. We're in the league top, yeah? Oh, we actually are by a point. Okay, sweet. Okay, how have I had nine inboxes already? Like, don't offer for me in the middle of the season. Offer me when the transfer windows are open. There's no fucking issue. Casado was injured. Oh, dear. At least he's all right now. We've got 21 million from that. So, Europa League. Who have we got in the preliminary round? If we've even got drawn into a preliminary round. Please don't be fucking Chelsea. Frankfurt. Are you fucking kidding me? They're all difficult rounds, to be fair. A Gorter or a loan offer. Uh, we're saying no. Because we still need him around for the rest of the season. 
boss loan offer. That's one I can be uh, happy to agree to for end the season loan. Uh, what else? To the academy because I think there's a position change or two that I was doing. I wonder if they've gone through yet. Yeah, Thomas Paters from right wing, uh, from set forward to right wing. He goes up five. Potential looks like low eighties, so it's not bad. And then Janssen, he's going to be a while to get a striker, but his potential looks like it's running out to be quite pooey anyway. Some of these I may move on just while we're here. Or maybe I'll leave them for now. Another monthly scout report. I think it was David who's got the uh, player of the month as well. He's got an offer in. Melvin Jacobs will test. Kuypers we won't. Van Dyke, not enough potential. And now De Vries. It's all kind of the same name. So I was just wish the name pool. Um, I'm just for the record, I'm rejecting him because of his potential, rather than overall. But I just wish the name pool was better. David could go for light. Go to Leipzig for two point seven million and Varane. Why is Varane at Leipzig? I mean, he's a Champions League winner. To be fair, if he joined the first season. Grilich wants to play, but now Caicedo's back, it's not going to be as easy, fam. You get me. All right, against Groningen. I'm not playing this fucking game if it's just going to do me like this. What's the point? What's the actual point? How have I, how have I dominated the game and lost 3-0? Like, what's the, like, does this game get a kick of fucking pissing me off? Loan deal going through to the end of the season. Silvano Voss out to Norwich. How's that 3 0? I genuinely don't know, man. I can, I, I could, I could try to explain it all day and I still wouldn't get the answer. Sanchez release clause met. Is that the backup right back? Is it? Because I'm happy to let him go. I'm just wanting to know who it is. Yeah, it is. All right. So we'll let you know. What, we'll just let him go on the release clause. I think. Oh, bring in a right back. My backup right back. If we've got any money left, which I don't know if we do. What's his valuation? Oh wow, okay, we're getting we're getting kinda of robbed here. Yeah, we're getting that right back in. Have your uh, have your release clause, have your Jorge Sanchez. We'll bring in another backup right back. And we're not gonna to go to the Premier League this time, but we're gonna look in a different league, kinda of just to see what to have a little look around, see what people have got. Nosy. Gertrude is someone I was thinking of signing in this uh, career mode at some point. We've got Wrench. So maybe Gertrude can be someone in another one. Pereira, maybe. Could be a sign in for a backup spot. Juan Basaka. I've already had him, though. I don't want to use him again. He was very successful at Newcastle until he wasn't. Like Aaron's out here. Riddle Baku. My United women's team is playing in a cup final right now. Yeah, I saw that against Chelsea, isn't it? I think. Chelsea's women. Fresneda's pretty good, I think I've heard, around the uh, the scene. Maybe bring him in as a backup. Tino, we tried him before, didn't really work out. But that's because we were at a very good spot at that point. I think we'll just go for uh, Fresneda. See what his, uh, obviously see what his scout report comes back as. Before we move, make that move. I believe this is Sanchez, is it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. We'll say yes. I've never used him, so I don't know who it is. He's gone to Villarreal for the release clause. Probably could have 
maybe figured that one out. Best possible deal was minus a euro. So I had to pay them a euro to take Sanchez, apparently. This player's release clause is lower than his value. You should constantly monitor the value of your players and offer them contract renewals if their release clause is lower than their value. Usually I would, but I wasn't really arsed. Now Bruges could take Leon Janssen for the rest of the season since it didn't go through to Lille, apparently, for whatever reason. Maybe he just doesn't want to go. Maybe he likes it here. Grealish wants more games. He'll get more games. But Caicedo is obviously the main man. Even though he's had an injury, he's still going quite okay. Canada can fuck off with their management offers, respectfully. No offence to Jonathan David, I know you can probably hear me. Um, progress, yada yada yada. Got loan deal to end the season. And Bruges will take Janssen, hopefully. I say yada yada yada, I'll end up getting sacked because I'm not paying attention to the objectives. Right. If I don't get a victory here, then there's issues, right, realistically, in it. Good. David with a brace, Taylor with the other. Also, how's Taylor going? Because if he's growing well, we'll keep him as a permanent starter, but if not, we'll move him around. He's at 82. Okay, he's growing like a fucking steam train. Jesus Christ. Did I ever finish Gak uh, Gakpo's... I didn't. <laughs> Alright, well, there he is. He's his potential anyway of 86, which is fine. He's going to be an end-game player, I think. Van der Beek's gone up one. Let's go. Janssen loan agreement. I think I already accepted that, didn't I? But the Gots one, we'll go through it to Celta Vigo. How long have I been streaming for? Two hours. Okay, we'll do one more season after this for part one. This is the loan deal going through for Leon Janssen. He will do a good job, I think, at Bruges. And even if we either we keep him or we sell him on for that objective for season three, either way it works out for us. And it is also another loan deal, I believe. This is Mika Gots going to Celtic. The man who nearly got stolen from us by Stoke City. We managed to hold on to him. Uh, we've got a Janssen loaned out. Rasmussen could go out to Al Nasser. You know what? Go play Ronaldo, mate. Enjoy yourself. PSV versus Ajax. This could honestly go either way. I'm kind of scared that it's going to go their way. But our team is better. Like, looking at that, surely, right? My god, our keeper made a massive save. Where does that remind you of? <laughs> David De Gea. Oh, we did win. I mean, it should have been dominant, but they had two shots to score in both. I think a goalkeeper is what's holding us back, really. Gakpo, Kudus, and David. I think we do need a world-class keeper next season to really send this team to the next level. And with uh, Christian Rasmussen, going to go play with Ronaldo. That's probably our last bit of business within this window. We don't, I don't think we're going to sign anyone. We'll just sit with what we've got. And hopefully we'll get through the 20 here. But I have a horrible feeling we're going to get knocked out. <laughs> yeah, cool. You know what? That's yeah. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> this game is so stupid. The game is so shit, man. <laughs> but I, I kind of half knew... Kind of half expected it because this game is bollocks. Just skip to the end. I'm not gonna. In fact, actually, we might get some more loans. We'll just go for it slowly. The Orange Becker's gone again, but that's fine because this game sucks ass. I don't think any more loan deals are going to come through, but we'll just go one hour at a time just to see. I saw Marcus Edwards on there. I've still yet to sign him in a rebuild. And if I hadn't got a good right winger already with Malin, maybe Marcus Edwards would have been one of the men we went for. Yeah, give me a loan offer right at the end of the fucking window. It's not even one I want to loan out, though, so fair enough. Put me and the creator of Fall Guys on the next KSI boxing card. Oh dear. Should I ask? <laughs> right, have we got our Europa League? Oh yeah, we do get Frankfurt. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't really care about the Europa League. We'll sim after it. 
It's not Champions League though, is it? We should beat Feyenoord. Should beat Fortuna. Hopefully beat Frankfurt. Two on the first leg. And two one on the second leg. Sweet. Right, on to the next round then against Is that Fenabachi? It is. We'll sim oh, I'm just gonna sim round by round here. Fenabachi, two nil. And a three one. Alright, sweet. So what's the manager rate looking like just while we're here? It's gone down a bit. Um we're, stop, we're still top of the league. Top of the league by seven points. If we get a league, we should be fine. And maybe the Europa League. Spurs. We've got European history against them. Right, let's see how we go. If we're out, we're out in it. But actually, I want to. I want to stop before. I want to stop before a Spurs game. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna visual sim it because it doesn't seem to work. I'm gonna go back to the calendar, but I just kind of want to see. I'm gonna go have a little scan of what team they've got. The first things fisted me, and I bolted in our final. Oh. You're like me for real. We lost a Vitesse for no reason. Two week break and we still lost a Vitesse. My major rating's in the orange again for who knows what reason, honestly. I, I don't know at this point. Don't want to know. What What's the Spurs team looking like? Castile, Sessignon, Royale, Romero, Mancini, Sanchez, Hoiberg, La Celso, Son, Kane, and Mares. It ain't going to be easy, but we'll go for it. Sim past it. See what we get. 3 0. Okay. So we're in the next round of the... Oh, you fucking bastards. We're against PSV. Are we going to win the league, though? We seem to be balling it a little bit. All right, we won. Okay, please keep winning. You fucking nonces. Right, we beat PSV 1-0. Lost to us. Okay, we're in the Europa League final. Have we won the league? Please win the last day of the season. All right, did we win the league? I beg. I fucking beg. Europa League final, but is it a league win for Ajax? By one point. Did we want to bottle it a bit harder, boys? Did we want to bottle it a tiny bit harder there? We won it, but, like, not convincingly. We had a good fucking lead, and then we started shitting the gaff. Oh, well, we made it. By a point, we've won the Eredivisie. Sweet. And uh, we got... We got... Leon in the uh, final of the Europa League after beating them in the uh, playoff qualifiers for the Champions League. It's now come to this. We meet them again. I didn't think we'd meet them twice in the season. Let's see how we do then. Europa League final against um, Leon. My brain just went there. Our ratings have got quite well in terms of overalls here. Let's see if we can do the job. And Ramon Sanchez, P1. They even got it in the fucking Sevilla Stadium because he expects Sevilla to be here, but they're not. Have we done it? The Europa League. We have. All right, a trophy. Another trophy. Gakpo with a brace and Grilich with the other. We've got the Eredivisie and the Europa League. It's a start. Champions League is guaranteed, which is fantastic. And that's absolutely fine by me. Beyond that. There's a lot of youth players unsettled. Okay, right. Issues have arisen. Give me a moment, boys. We'll just sort out all this. Grilich, I guess he's put himself on the list because he wanted to go, which we'll figure out in the summer. Simon, Peters, Peters, Janssen, Velasco. All right. Simon, is this one of the Simons? I guess Simon... Wait, I'm going to have to fucking... There's too many people here. The one at a time. Joss Simon. That's the keeper. Thomas Peters and Jordy Peters. Okay, Thomas Peters. We've got Jordy Peters first. All right. And Thomas Peters. Okay, we're just promoting them because we're going to sell them on anyway. Janssen and Velasco. Giovanni Janssen. Is that the one I was trying to get striker? Yeah. All right, sweet. He's not even grown in any. What a fucking prick. He's got, he's got time on his side, though. And who was the other one? Velasco. We don't need our goalkeeper. Sorry, mate. All right, prize money eight, but only eight point six million for the Europa League. I might as well have just won nothing. How's my rating down in the dirt still? We done well. 
Netherlands announced their uh, World Cup squad. Grealish transfer offer. Does he really want to go that bad? What's he complaining about? Whatever. I'll figure out in the summer. We've not done the youth development target. What was the youth development target? We did the youth development target. You fucking morons. We just haven't done it in the three seasons that we've got. We've got three seasons for it. I don't understand how the week it's weak here because the reduced player wages is not possible. Quarter final is fine, but we won the fucking Europa League after this had to reach the final. We didn't lose the Orange Becker, we won the Red of Izzy. I don't understand how we're in the orange there, to be honest. He's 28, perhaps a replacement could be in order. We've got Caicedo starting, so it'd just be a backup, but yeah, maybe. But I thought Grilich would be, well, I suppose he's 80 rated as well. I don't think he'll be backup as an 80 rated. Right. Simulation good stop. Alright, let's take a look then at the end of the season. So we won the league with Ajax. One point clear of as a PSV and Feyenoord in top four. As we read down the bottom three, go to Go Ahead Eagles, Von Damme and Excelsior. Orange Becker, we got no uh, knocked out in the quarters, was it? And it was NEC Ni Nijmegen. No idea how you pronounce that. But they've won the Orange Becker, so fair play to them. They'll win it every day. We won the preseason tournament ahead of Manchester United as well. Get absolutely fucked. Super Cup was won by Manchester United over Leipzig, so fair play to them. I guess they're not absolutely fucked. Uh, Champions League was won by Barcelona. They beat Roma 2-0 in the final. Of course, we went out of the groups. Um, these are how the rounds went. Where did Man United get knocked out at? Uh, Barcelona. Okay, fair enough. Europa League was won by your boys, Ajax. What was our route to the final? We beat Frankfurt. Beat Fenerbahce, beat Spurs, which I was surprised about. Beat PSV, which I was also surprised about, and then beat Lyon in the finale. And then the Conference League was won by Athletic Club Bilbao over Newcastle, and they beat Lens, um, Ghent. Try to find their fucking names here. Poznan, and I believe they topped the group probably, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they have? Yeah, they would. Thirteen. Sweet. And the stats then for the squad this season, taking a look at where we're at. Stats, most games was played by Rule 8 55, Wrench 55, Timber 55, Kudus and David on 55 goals. Jonathan David has had an absolute breakout season. What a fantastic season from this man. 40 goals in 55 appearances and 9 assists. Absolutely fantastic. Daniel Malm as well, 20 and 9 he, I honestly, might be the steal of the rebuild, honestly, for Berghaus. Ridiculous. Cody Gakpo coming in for his debut season, doing quite well. 13 and 15 in 46 appearances. Can't sniff at that, really. Uh, Mohamed Kudus, he's growing like a traction engine, but needs a bit more contributions, in my opinion. 12 and 7, though, not awful. Uh, Kenneth Taylor with 8, Wrench with 4, Kaiseda with 3, Brobby with 3, Grilich with 3. I think we're kind of hampering Brobby's growth a little bit, but he's still a good backup striker. Alvarez with 2, Vindal with 2, Timber, Coincel all with 1 as well. And the assist top of that was Cody Gakpo, 15 assists, Malin with 9, David with 8, Taylor with 8, Curtis with 7, Vindal with 3, Casado with 2. Geronimo really even getting an assist, but I think this is his last season in the, the squad. Although he has grown another rating. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Clean sheet's 15. And Grilich with a assist as well. So that will end season two. A very good season. Even though the board still don't like us too much for whatever reason. I don't understand that. Um, it is another season down. And I think it's a good season personally. But the board disagree. Won the Eredivisie. Quarterfinals in the Orange Becker. Maybe a bit of a letdown there. The European International Cup. We won that. Group stage of the Champions League. However, we did go on to win the Europa League. So, Champions League for certain next season. And potentially a chance at completing this rebuild. If we don't complete it next season, of course, it'll be split into a part two. And I will do that on... I don't know what day I'll do that on because I've got plans next week already. Monday will be the career mode. Tuesday, I said, will be the Walking Dead and I promised it. Wednesday will probably be the other career mode and uh, another career mode. And then Thursday, maybe, will be the second part. I don't know. We'll have to figure out somewhere down the line. But... If it doesn't go to another part, that's also good. Now the season's come to an end. I look forward to a minute to review our progress. We look forward to working with you again next season. Right, another season of the job. Sweet. Mastermind I am. Go on, David. I think it was kind of a mix there. I said I suggested David and you said yes, sign him. So I think it's probably 50-50 split on that one.
We're both geniuses. Get a drink out of the old refrigerator. Put another drink in the refrigerator for later. Right, season three. Can we do it off of this? I think the team's there. I think it's just a couple of minor adjustments. Do we stick with Ruley? Oh yeah, 50-50 my arse. Oh my dear, I'm afraid. Alright, that's trying to be nice. It's all my idea. Do we stick with Ruley or do we move on to another goalkeeper? Because I think I think I want to move on, but I just don't know who I bring in. So maybe we go one more season with Ruley. I don't know. Right. So advance a little bit, or actually not, not advance a little bit. Let's take a look at the team first. What's the uh, loan growth been like? Peters, I will give him a loan out. Simon, we're going to sell him. Peters, we're going to sell... Oh, actually, contracts. This is going to be a big year for contracts. Wrench, Alvarez, Timber, Rager, Bunnell, Caduce, Peters, Hato and Grealish. I beg we don't have a... I beg we don't have a fucking contract thingy here on the objectives I beg please what's the financial reduce wage uh, well, that's still there for whatever reason um these are doable reach the final of the Champions League fucking that might not be doable clean sheet streak of seven sell three players okay you know what some of them are doable probably gonna sell a few players anyway so let's take a look how it's gone Peters. Let's do the contracts first, so I kind of know their potentials with some of the younger ones. Right, wrench. We're going to go into actual negotiations here, because I could fuck this up completely and lose them. They want a lot more money than what they're on, that's the only issue. And I don't really know what to offer on top of what like, they're earning already, which is why I'm going into these negotiations a little bit. Can you... Okay. Right, that's useful. 30k? Sweet. Maybe I'm overpaying, but I want to keep them on. I'd rather overpay and keep them than underpay and lose them. Crush, obviously. Main centre back. Another five years. Boy. Three. Okay. Release clause. None. TY. And 23k. Okay, maybe I'll just move it a little bit lower than 30k. I've probably overpaid wrench by quite a bit. <laughs> That's why 26.5. For some of the uh, obviously fringe players, I probably won't go into negotiations like Rager here. Could probably just go with that. Be fine. And Benel. Oh Jesus Christ! No, hold on. No, I, 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 hold up a minute. There we go. All right, and that Timber is one we need to go in for because we absolutely have to keep him. He is. He's grown how he should be growing. Um. I was going to say, what the fuck happened there? I was going to load for a second. Alright, Yuri and Timber, obviously. He's now one of the best centre backs in the league now. I'm not actually using it. Stick him on the bench. I should never have bought Romero on that Newcastle one. Release clause. Fuck off, cunt. I should be swearing at the uh, agent here. Yeah, I've overpaid wrench because Timber's only asking for 24.5. That's up to 27. Okay, right. So I kind of know what deals we're going for here. Only 27k for 102.5 million. That's kind of mad, you know. He's on a six-year deal. He's never leaving. Peters, we'll keep him on our deal. Yeah. And Kudus. Now, this is another big one. I don't think Grilich will accept our contract, so we'll have to move him on and get a CDM in. Kudus, crucial. He stays forever as well. No release clause, obviously, and money. I uh, hope he'll accept 28k because that's what the rest of the squad seem to be accepting. Sweet. Uh, Grilich doesn't wanna. Can we? Um, no. Okay, so that's fine. And then Hato will. Um, oh Jesus! What the? Okay, right. Reset. Quick re. Nope. We're not having a release clause on you. Sorry, mate. Uh, fucking, I have to go into uh, negotiations with this kid now. No release, yeah, of course, no release clause. Why the fuck? And then, yeah, okay, that's fine. 
Sweet. That was kind of the wage I was thinking of uh, selling the mum for anyway, but I just didn't want the release clause part. Alright, sweet. Contract's done. Now we can see who we want to get rid of. Grillich is probably uh, absolutely getting rid of because he's been a bitch. Exciting prospect. Goes out on loan. If you're great potential, I'm probably going to sell him on. And if you're anything higher than that, we'll keep you about. And if you've got no potential tag at all, you're gone. Special something will give you one more year, Linesim, but I'm not completely convinced by you. Benel. I know I said uh, great. You know what? I'm taking back what I said. If you've got potential tag, you're going on loan. <laughs> Slavana Voss doesn't have a potential tag. We'll move him on. Fuck it. This is kind of crunch time this season. What's Janssen worth, actually? Because this could be a good... Oh. Loan him out. This fucking kid here, Mika Gotts, is looking fantastic, by the way. The Rami, we're going to move on. Gorter, we're going to maybe keep us our back up. I don't know. Calvin Bassey, I wish I could move him in, but he's happy to be back up, and I'm happy to keep him as that. And then the rest are going to stay. Do we get rid of Geronimo Rulli? What are his stats looking like? Can he go up any further? Will he go up any further? This is growth time. 85. I'm happy to keep him on, you know. He's still got potential at... Yeah, I'm keeping him. I've decided. He's still got potential at 32. See our magic goal yesterday? Yeah, I was watching the game. It was absolutely fantastic. I can't wait till he comes back to us, honestly. Can't wait. Well, this is Simon. I'm going to open my drink. Oh, okay. We've got a thingy now. Hold on. Let me open my drink anyway. Right, Fitz, Jim, could go to Batiste. That's absolutely fine. Transfer budget increase. We've got 80 million to work with, which is also fine. A backup for Kai Sadio is really all we need. Unless we want to go for an outright ridiculous signing somewhere. Uh, Silvano Voss. We'll try and get a bit of money for him. The budget we have, goalkeeper isn't the top priority, so it can wait. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ruli actually looks quite good as well. He can still grow a bit more despite being 32, so keep him around. Voss can go for 4 mil. Um, What do we need then? Squad. I'd like, I like it when people are back from international duty, so I kind of know what their ratings are. Malin's 84, still going to stay. Gakpo's 86. The front three is probably going to remain, I think, at this point. Maybe a centre mid. And maybe a left back. A backup full back, definitely, actually, is on the cards. Hato looks decent, actually. Did we just keep him? Although I might loan him out. Who is it? Mika Gotts. I think he needs to get involved in the team this year a bit more. But maybe we need um, a backup fullback. I don't really know what to improve on in this team because I like the team as it is. But I know we need something. Midfielder. You're not, you're not happy with Taylor, no? I quite like Big Ken. How much growth does he have in him still, actually? So I can go out and just buy a worldy midfielder to take us out next level, and I know who I, I know exactly who I'm going to be. It's going to be, and you can probably guess as well. It would have to take a player swap as well. But no, I think I think we're all right for midfield. Kenneth could still grow quite a bit. He's decent, but surely there's better options. Well, the one man, obviously, I think it doesn't take a genius to work out who I would, I would go for, but. He's going to be way out of our uh, price range here. Bringing him back to Ajax will probably not happen. It would be a, obviously a fucking big deal if we could, but I doubt it. I'm just wondering who else we could bring in. So we'll check in the Prem, see what's uh, sniffing around there. As always, if in doubt, go to the Prem.
Deli Ali, maybe. But he's only fucking. Oh, wow. There's Scott Banks from Bradford Loney. Baumgartner, maybe. Could be decent. Van Tanker. Um, I quite like keeping the idea of Taylor, but if we want, if if we think a midfield is the way to go, then a midfield is the way to go. And Preston are in the Premier League. Casemiro still about. It could always just be a backup for uh, Taylor, perhaps. Even. Do we just say fuck it and bring KDB? Contract expiry. Do we say fuck it and bring in KDB? He's on the list anyway. <laughs> Definitely on the list. If you back Taylor, I back you. Yeah. I mean, I think I've got to go for De Bruyne if he's on a contract expiry. Sorry, Taylor, mate. But if we can get him... It'll be all of our budget. But why not? Who says no, apart from maybe Kevin? Get a deal for around 65.5. Well, we'll go for that then. You know what? We'll go one better. Actually, this will do... Uh, hopefully do us well. Thoughts, Pep? They've gone and just straight accepted it. Well, I mean, we might be moments away from this marquee fucking signing. Jesus Christ. If I'm not seeing it was on a contract expiry, I would never have gone for it. Could we be about to sign Kevin De Bruyne? Of course it's crucial. He's going to be asking for the whole pay packet. I just don't know what to offer him in terms of wages. Three years... Hopefully that'll be enough to see us through. Oh Jesus Christ! One, I don't even know. What to, I don't even know what to offer him here. What do I offer him? One fifty. One hundred. One hundred twenty-five, maybe. I don't. I... Two hundred. Oh boy! All right. And he still wants bonuses on top of that. Fucking hell. 230. Okay. We've got to pay it. Really he went to 230. That's not too bad. Maybe 200 was a bit low, but... I was thinking of going 100 and something. So I'm fucking glad that we caught him. Because we would have lost him if I'd said 100. But here he is. What a signing. To take this team to the next level... Holy shit. The problem is, if we don't win it this year, though, I don't know how much mileage we have in Kevin De Bruyne. KDB moves to Ajax. And we got him for so much less than what we could have got. The goal scorers we scored in Man City versus Everton are off. Gundogan and... Was it Haaland? Oh, for Grilich, that's a hell of a deal. For Grilich and 47 million. KDB, are you fucking kidding me? My God. I was thinking of getting Simmons at some point, but that's kind of gone completely out the fucking window. Fresneda was the backup right back we were going to get. Never did get, but I will get as well if I've got the money still. Do I still have the money? I should, right? Can I scroll properly and not be an idiot? 16 mil. It might... Mm. I'll just squeeze that one through. Sorry, Taylor. All right, we're going to, we're going to do is we're going to push up here. Lamb. And then Taylor's going to swap for Kevin De Bruyne. But what it does mean, unfortunately, is that Donny van der Beek might be on the outs. Bit of a flop signing, really, ultimately. I don't think it's savable, his career now in career mode. Silver and Grealish on. Ah. They'll probably just see it out, and I will say they're going to win the league, and it's going to be annoying, but they're going to do it again. I can't believe it. KDB. 
We're gonna put Donnie on the transfer list. Sorry, mate. I was try. I wanted to try to save your career, but it just hasn't worked. One of the world's best, and he's at Ajax. He's about to go down in ninety. Is there any way we could slow this down? It's still very good. Ninety rated Kevin De Bruyne. On the bench is mad. Just so deep. Yeah, true. Martinez, as in Lissandro Martinez. I don't have enough money. And the centre backs are, I think, sorted. If you mean a different Martinez, then I don't know what Martinez you mean. <laughs> because Timber is now at an 87, Alvarez is at an 85. They're both class centre backs. It just is that backup right back we need now, and I think I'm going to go for Fresneda. Whether I can afford him is going to be a different matter, because we're kind of low on the old money. Emmy? I could go for Emmy. Hold on. Do we go for Emmy instead of Ruli? Because I was thinking of going with Ruli just to the end now, but Mar Emmy Martinez could be a shout, you know. Do we just go for that? I think we just go for that. I think we go for it. Do we want to go for I think we'll go for Emmy and swap for Ruli. That actually isn't a bad idea at all. Realistic De Bruyne to Ajax. <laughs> I mean, De Bruyne to Ajax is just, I don't know. I, did, I just saw him and thought, he's on contract expiry, why not? Straight swap, really for uh, Emmy. Bit of money as well, okay. Not that much, because we didn't still get our back up right back. Okay, fine. You have the last laugh then, Unai. I mean, De Bruyne to Ajax is so unrealistic, <laughs> but it's it's funny. It takes the team to the next level that we need to be going at. We're Europa League winners. We're going for Champions League again. We're a good destination. Obviously crucial. Three years. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't decline, because Ruling was going to go up. So maybe if Martinez goes up as well. Clean sheet bonus can fuck off. A bit more wage off that, you can have that, but <laughs> clean sheet borders can lick my nuts. Who was younger? Um, it's a good question. I think Martinez is a year younger. They might actually be the same age. I will check after this. I think really might be a year older. This is really a good signing then, because he's a year older. Or he's a year younger and overall higher. But I'm just hoping he can grow. It's, uh, I hope he's not declining, kind of thing, because really was going up in overall, potentially. But this is a decent idea. He's tall and he's good. And I think it's an A rating as well, a B rating. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, squadron. Emmy. See what he's at. He can still go up. He can still go a little bit. Okay. You know what? Bet. Really, start what? This is season three, so he'd be older now. Hold on. Where is he? Martinez is 31 in the save. Really is. Yeah, really 32. Yeah, we're probably, probably a smart move to do that, to be honest. And Villa get a good goalkeeper into the bargain as well. So it works out for both of us. Yeah, really is older. Yeah, that was a good move. Thank you for that, Josh. The strong goalkeeper, and I still need to buy that fucking fullback. And we've done the uh, financial report by selling people. Sweet. Hopefully the rating goes up now. Donnie's surprised he's on the transfer list, but he's not unhappy about it. Sorry, mate. I don't want to sell you, but ultimately, you're not going to get involved, are you? Right, valid the lead. We'll go in for Fresneda. And apparently, we can get it for cheaper in his valuation. So why not try that? 
Yuri Riga, you know. Why not? We'll, we'll take the money down a little bit. Why not? That works for me. Alright, fine. If you're going to be a bitch about it, we can have a little bit more money. Got a better younger goalkeeper. Yeah, no, thank you for that. I was thinking of going for someone else. I want. I just want someone who's high rated at this point. Um, but I kind of want to stick with Rulli as well. It was, it was. I was thinking of other people as well, but Martinez was a good shout. And hopefully it will be enough to at least win us, or at least get us far in the Champions League. Maybe not win it. I'm hoping we do win it, but we'll see. We've done very well in the transfer market. Fresneda will be the backup right back to Divine Wrench. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's pronounced Divine or Devon, but we be moved, you know. Put 10k on the table, see what he says. It's fine with it. Probably overpaid. Martinez will be good for like four seasons. True. Goalkeepers decline a lot slower, so very true. I don't know how much mileage we'll get out of KDB. I'm hoping we get some amount. Hopefully we'll get Champions League. We're in the Champions League. I'm just hoping we win it. It'd be great. League and deep Champions League fun would be a good season. Yeah. That would be great. And that's Fresneda in as the backup fullback to Divine Wrench. Sending out Yuri Riga and 5.1 million euros. Not the best deal, but I was never going to use... Um, Riga, I don't think he was just going to be consistently loaned out until the end of time. We'll still, we'll still keep these uh, goalkeepers around. We've got Gorter as our backup for now. We've loaned these out. Uh, we should loan him out as well. So Martinez in net. Wrench there. Fresnay the bench. Sweet. That's all right by me. That's a decent team. Ready to go, I think. And that's hopefully the case. Unless we get a Donny. I hope we get a Donny offer. That's Fitz Jim going out on loan again. To Real Batiste. Sorry, really locked in on the women's game. No worries, mate. Understandable. <laughs> You're a horny bastard. Jonathan Davis going absolutely nowhere. The Rami. I'm happy to sell, but I don't want anyone in a return. So we'll go for money, I think, on this one. Hit yeah, pause, yeah. <laughs> My man is on the is horny in the chat. Seventeen point five would be a good deal for Dorami, I reckon. And they've gone and accepted it. Sweet. Janssen transfer offer. This is Giovanni Janssen who didn't have a potential tag. But we're gonna try and squeeze as much money out of these as we can. Because we need the um, money for the objective. So we'll go 2.5, see what they say. If they say nah, we'll be all right. I said yes, that's sweet. Nah, no pause, okay. Who's even on? It's Manchester United and Chelsea in the Women's Cup Final. Here goes, this is Jansen, isn't it? No, it's Dorami. I don't know my own players. 17.5, not too bad. He's probably a good little player, just not for us, unfortunately. Won't really break in ahead of Gakpo. He's fucking Cody Gakpo, for Christ's sake. And there goes Janssen as well. 2.5 million to Pogon Skazegin. Don't know how you pronounce that. It's probably like Shezny's name, like Shezin or something. Alright. They've gone through. Sweet. And we have reached our first preseason game against Juventus at La Bombonera. That team looks disgusting. 2-0 win. Taylor and David. Malin got sent off in the first minute. What was he doing? What would, what did Malin do? He just got straight for murder. Well, I mean, we won. But what is fucking... What is Malin doing? <laughs> he definitely did a baller. 100%. Don't forget to use substitutes. Don't forget to remember when I asked. So who, who's going to come in from Malin then? Probably Kinsau, isn't it? He's probably got such a good potential ceiling. It's just not going to be here. And Gotts as well. Gotts might be one we sign for a road to glory. Potentially like a, a Bolton or a Barnsley if I go down that road at some point. Against Napoli then. We've got no Malin. Two all draw. Not too bad. David and Gakpo with the goals. 
Love that from Alan Kimber Pay Raise. <laughs> He's going straight for the man. Doesn't give a shit. And then Villa. Emmy coming up against his former club. They've got Ruli in net, probably. Yep, they do. And let's see how we do against Villa then. Wait, why is Malin Band? Oh, because he's a, it was a straight red, wasn't it? And a 1 0 win thanks to David. Late on. Emmy wins the battle. Alright, we're back in the green for the manager room. We kick off the league against Feyenoord. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Player suspended. Yeah, Daniel Mann's an idiot. Don't worry. Kansawa's reached his potential of 80. Still got plenty to go. Maybe not. He'd, I mean, at another club, he'd outgrow 80, 100%. But he's fine for a backup winger. That's absolutely fine. And Donny van der Beek could go back to the Prem. Alright, we'll try and... I'm going to try and get 25 million. But I don't think, somehow, it's going to go through quite like that, bruv. Never mind, it is. Okay. Give Marlon a 5k pay rise. Mate, you got sent off, so here's your reward. <laughs> What's he on now, actually? 27. Now he's on quite a big wage. Alright, fuck it. Right. Delegate renewal. Start the wage offer at 32. And don't go higher than 32. Quick maths. 5k pay rise. And he's happy. Another year and 32k. There we go. 5k pay rise complete. What's up, Solbol? For every red or injury caused pay rise. Feyenoord. No, Emmy's not going to be the captain. It's Alvarez. Don't you question my methods. Your Simon. We'll go for 1.3. I don't think we'll get much more from him. And looking at the Youth Academy. Sven van Dijk, we're calling up and loaning 100%. As well as Jan Jacobs. I think everyone else can stay in there for now. I'm doing alright, mate. I'm enjoying myself with this rebuild. It's actually quite fun. I mean, Champions League could be done this year. Wait, who did I just call up? Jacobs. Boink. And 69 rated, wasn't it? Van Dyke. Boink. Sweet. First game of the season against Feyenoord. This is going to be... Difficult, but we should be able to win with this team. Keyword is should. And we have 3 1. Jonathan David with a brace and Kevin De Bruyne get his first goal of the season. Before we move on, I'm just going to check KDB and see how quickly he's going to decline. Oh, he's declining quite fast. Ah. Okay, well, it's fine. He's still going to be quite high rated for a couple of seasons. And Donny van der Beek didn't really manage anything, unfortunately, with the club. I thought maybe we'll get a rebuild for him. Came in, hit his potential within two weeks. Got a few goals here and there, but didn't really provide anything out with that. He will return to the Premier League to play at Fulham, which is, uh, in the nicest possible way, it's probably his level. And the fact that I got 25 million for him is an absolute fucking... That's ridiculous. It's a joke. Alright, exit. I believe this is a loan deal, though. For, oh, no, it's a permanent for Jos Simon. 1.3 million euros. Simon's gone. Van der Beek's gone. Loan offer for De Vries. It's absolutely fine. He'll continue to grow like a fucking steam train. Helmson from Middlesbrough. He'll go on a loan deal. As well, it's this admin kind of loan offer stuff at the start of each season which kind of annoys me. Paters, again, you're getting a loan. I just want to get through the season. See if I get to the Champions League final. Either way, if I do, I'll play it. Obviously, if we win or lose, we'll do... A part two. I mean, if we win, we'll not do a part two because it'll be done. But if we lose, if we get to Champions League final and lose, it'll go to a part two. I really hope. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm loading Peters out. He looks like rubbish. De Bruyne's have to be a left winger. That's fine because you're not. 
and Jan Jacobs and Van Dijk are happy to have loans. And DeVries loan agreement goes through, as does Hilsons. I'm just trying to speed through this kind of transfer stuff, because I think we've got what we need now. I think the team is sorted. Vindal hits his potential of 83, a bit um, under what I expected of him, but that's okay. Sven van Dijk, loan deal, goes for a year to Troyes, is it? And Peters could go to Lugo, and the other Peters could go to Girona. Player chat from Kenneth. He wants to be involved still. I want him to be involved still, but we've just got De Bruyne. That's the issue. Three 0 win. Caicedo, Malin, and David with the goals. League will be yours easily. I really hope so. League is league has to be a fucking must at this point. Champions League would be fantastic too. And this is a loan deal for one of many players who are selling at, uh, on a loan. We're well, not selling them because it's on loan. Rick DeVries. Malin red card could have been special. <laughs> Super Cup then against Barcelona. They won the Champions League. We won the Europa League. Can we beat them? That's a hell of a team, so probably not, but we do. We do beat them. Fair enough. We might actually be contenders for the Champions League. Kudus and Malin with our goals, and we win the Super Cup. Inbox and our loan deal completed for Christian Hlinson. And Alex Peters will also make his move out on loan as well for the season. Not to mention Thomas Peters is also going to Lugo. I think that's us, unless we get more loan offers, right? All the loans done. Sepp van Dijk, or Sven van Dijk, sorry. I got mixed between Sepp van der Berg and Virgil van Dijk, to be honest. All right, interesting Kamara. I'm not really interested in them anymore. And Benel could go on our loan. Two years to Torino. Go ahead, Eagles versus Ajax. 1-0 win. Gakpo scores for us. He had a red card and a missed penalty. It could have been a lot different. But we do get the dub there. And now another move going out. These cut scenes. Is there, I wish there was a way to turn him off, man. Um... A loan for a year to Troy's. Van Dyke loaned out, and then Leon Jansen could be going out on loan to Auction Town. I think I put my transfer list though, so I'm going to say no to this. Another exit. Game's doing my head in. Jaden Bunnell out for two years to Torino. Gotts loan offer. I'm going to keep Gotts around, you know. Really would like him in the team. But Peters will happily loan out. Care scored for Chelsea. Oh, dear. Gets Volendam then. They've got... Uh, they seem to do quite well, you know. Start of season. They beat us last year as well. What will the score be? 2-0 win. Brace from Gakpo. Say we started off la league last year like shit and still won it. I had a cracking season, start of the season this year. Um, or maybe I did put. I just, we'll just loan him. I don't think I put him on the loan list, but we'll just loan him. Could we go to Brentford? Janssen has accepted the terms. Brentford have accepted the terms. That could be going through on a here we go very soon. Match rescheduled. But I know Gittins is someone I want to sign down the line, maybe in a rebuild. That's Lawrence Peters. Out to Venezia. Lone Central here at Ajax. And with the deadline day coming up, I don't think we want to do anymore. Uh, Bassi to Salzburg. 
as um, I believe that is Leon Johnson making his lone move to Brentford. It seems people happy sometimes can't lie, especially when it's Chelsea. Bassi transfer offer and a guts loan offer. We're going to decline both of these. Happy to keep Bassi around as a backup, and he's happy to be around as a backup. He's not complained yet. And a uh, loan offer for Gotts is going to be declined as well. We're just going to skip to the end, I think. Yep. Sorry about me. Now we'll go see what our Champions League grip is. Take a look at the academy. I'm not going to send the uh, guy on another run because we've got a good academy here. And the Eredivisie Manager of Month Award once again coming to us. What's the Champions League group then? Surely we make it through this time, right? Surely we make it through. Well, whatever it is. Unless it's difficult. Ah, well. So on second thoughts, <laughs> it could be a bit of a struggle. Ajax, Inter, Frankfurt and Celtic in this group. It'll probably be us and Inter, but Frankfurt will pop a hell of a fight. Um, so let's take a look at the fixtures then. We'll sim up to the end of the Champions League group and see where we're at. We're really worried about what's really important the league. This cute little cup doesn't mean anything to us. We've lost the fucking... Oh, I can't... Are we drawing now? Okay, cool. Please be enter. I fucking hate this game. At least we beat Celtic. I honestly thought we were going to lose Celtic for a second. We're drawing... Oh, we're getting all these stupid points dropped in the league, and I don't know why. Stop drawing to fucking teams. Stop drawing to all the fucking shit in the league, man. Signed De Jong. I was thinking of signing De Jong, but I just don't have the budget. <laughs> De Jong was one I was considering. I just don't have any money. I could have gone for De Jong said De Bruyne, maybe. But, again, we don't have the money at that point. Can we beat Inter? Okay, right, boys. I think we're through. I hope we're through. In the Champions League, we're top of the league. Lost once. Uh, four points clear, but we're dropping some stupid points. Champions League. Ah, uh, we know kept talk of our group. It was those two losses to Inter. Those two big losses to Inter that fucked us. But we are second in the group, which means I think we face top of Group C, which would be Chelsea. Okay. All right, some of these. What have we got then? United Sporting. PSG Sevilla, Chelsea Atletico, Inter Ajax, Bergamo Calcio and Salzburg, Arsenal fucked it, Bayern and Real, Liverpool and Kiev, and Barcelona and Porto. Okay, you yeah, know, okay. Not the absolute worst. Right. 24.508 in the money pot and we didn't accept any of these offers so I'm not very happy don't offer me between fucking August and January and then I won't ignore you thoughts Delu can go for two years and Peters can go to Burnley as well I've got Bayern did I get fucking Bayern again I might be pissed off I've got Bayern again I hate this. It's always always bloody Bayern. Why is it always Bayern Munich? Season 1, we had them in the fucking round of 16. Season 2, we had them in our group. Season 3, we've now got them in the round of 16 again. You were just joking. <laughs> oh, you were right. I hate this game. Oh, fuck's sake. We might be out of the round of 16 again because the game wants to consistently just fuck us over. Loans are going through. Left, right, centre. You got it right, you did. I don't know if I'm happy or not. <laughs> Offer withdrawn. You've player terminates contracts. Joshua Van Dijk. Okay, cool. I mean, ultimately, I'm not really going to call him up from there anymore. I think we're probably done with the Youth Academy. Kai said a transfer offer. Fuck off. I know Arsenal bought him in real life, but it doesn't mean he's going to get him in the, in the thing. Not sure why I think we're winning this whole damn thing. I I want to back you on that, but if they still got Aussie men and the like, we might be in a bit of shtuk. Although we did beat him in the Champions League group last year, I think. Deal goes through for Jordy Paters. 
a six month loan deal. And another deal goes through on loan. Jan Jacobs will go to, or Jan Jacobs goes to Adama, Adana, whatever. Six month loan deal. And the main thing I'm going to check here in a minute after we get this loan deal for Hato off to Brighton is what De Bruyne is looking like at this stage. Still 90. Okay, okay. Bet. This team looks good. Maybe a left back next year. Probably a left back next year if we need to upgrade anywhere. And we have no reserves. Ah, bollocks. All right. Time to call some up from the Youth Academy. All right, boys. It's your lucky day. We've got no depth, so you're getting involved. Saves me buying players. I don't think I have any money to buy players anyway. What are we saying money? 56. Oh, we could go get some free agents maybe. My dog's barking because my parents have gone out. Which is fun. I was going to say that's De Bruyne's region, but we have the literal player in our club. So I think, who will be retired at this point? Will Ronaldo be gone? Get his regen again like we did in all the other ones. Nope, he's still there. Oh, he's retiring at the end of the season. I wonder if Messi retired before Ronaldo. Nope, he's still there too. Nine goal and regen. You're probably right, to be fair. That's a good shout. That just said Messi was a free agent. <clears throat> well, you know what we need to do here, boys. Rotation for Messi. No, he wants to be born. Okay, I didn't think that was going to work so well. Sign the Ebra regen. True. I'll have a look at it, see where uh, see what it is. He's had a massive pay cut. 21k for Messi. I paid 230k for De Bruyne. Are you kidding me? Lionel Messi to Ajax. Here we go. Confirmed. Quick little sign in there. Off the free agents. Just for depth, really. It's weird that I'm thinking of using Messi for depth, but it is. Uh, the way we've gone there. Why not? Like, why not? Who says I can't? What are the rules? There's no rules. The only rules are the rules I make. Ibra Regen, which one is it? That's not Strikers, is it? I press. Did I put Strikers? Which one are the Ibra Regen? I don't know which one it is. My best guess would be fucking um, either Mohammed or Larson here, but I don't know which one it is. We'll scan both. He's retired. Good point. He should be, right? <laughs> By now. It's season three. I'll just put his last time. It'll be so much quicker. Yeah, he's retired. Had to loan agreement. We'll go through. Manager of the year announces the Bayern manager. Okay, that's a good, good sign. Here he is. Lionel Messi. Looking for one more Champions League. Can we deliver it to him? It's going to be weird having Messi on the bench. Or does he start ahead of Malin? <laughs> I think we have to bench him, don't we, realistically? 19. Oh, dear. Well, number 10 has gone to somebody else. I can't bench Malin. Malin's been good. 
And that's Yorel Hato going out for six months. For Tuna Sitar, yeah, Messi will be on the back, uh, on the uh, bench. Malin and Gakpo. Sign him Burmo. We just signed Messi, we don't need another right winger. <laughs> Does mean uh, Gotsu dropped to the reserves here. Messi and Coinsau. Can't believe we got Lionel Messi. I mean, I don't know why I did it, to be honest. I just thought he was a free agent, to be honest. I thought, ah, fuck it. Right. And Burmo. I think we need to sign anyone else. But then again, I've said that and we usually bottle it. Scout him out, anyway. Right, which one at Casado is it is a uh, potential of eighty four? Oh no, he hasn't. He can go. F uh, he's done that drill. He can go further. Otherwise, okay, that's fine. I thought he'd hit his potential. I was about to yell. Larson is sixty one, and Mohammed is sixty. They're not. <laughs> they are not the Eber regions. I don't know who the fuck is. Is Jorginho retired? I don't. I don't think he will be. He'll only be thirty something, won't he? Thirty three, thirty four. Thirty-three. No, he's still playing. He's still at Arsenal. America international management offer. I'm going to decline politely. Thank you. That team. That I mean, maybe a left back if necessary. But I think that team does get deep in the Champions League if we get lucky. Off the same. But then again, we'll probably lose to AZ here, and it'll be all. Undermined. Oh no, 3 1 win. Not too shabby. Malin, De Bruyne, and David with the goals. And on the last day before, well, actually on deadline day, we've got Heron Veen. And I don't think we're going to make any more deals in or out of the club. Gak posing up to an 88. Not too shabby. And a win. Yep, 3 0 over Heron Veen. Malin with the brace, and David with the other. And I think it was smart to keep Malin starting ahead of Messi, which is mad to say, but it, yeah. <laughs> we'll skip to the end. I don't think we need to do anything else. Right, let's see how we run this time, boys. There's two chances, really, isn't there? There's bad and good, and I don't know. Malin's hits potential of 87. Madness. When I signed him, I didn't think he'd grow this much, so I'm taking that with it as a humongous dub. Some of these objectives we're not going to do. But as long as we do the domestic ones, we'll be fine. Right. Bayern, we meet again, you fucking bastards. Here's the Eber region. I wasn't sure. I should have... Oh, we've lost the fucking cup. Of course we have. Whatever. Silly cup. D didn't matter anyway. Not important. As long as you get the league. I couldn't tell out of that, that lot who was the Eber region. Or even if there is one. My rating has gone down. That's probably because I lost the Orange Becker again. Have a look through again, but I don't think any... I don't think there was a Ebra region. Or maybe he was older. I don't know. We'll go up to 23. David Anderson, maybe. I don't know. Showing great potential. It might be David Anderson. Or it can't be Emmanuel Econ because he's not a regen. My other thought is if it's not one of those, it's that Anderson kid that I've just seen there. I don't know if he was up there before. Must have been. My only thought. Right, Bayern Munich in the first leg at the Johan Cruyff Arena. What is their team? Absolutely cracked. Got it. Can we do it? 2-1 win in the first leg, Caicedo and David. How old is Giroud? Good question. He 
He might be retired, actually. He is retired. Olivier Giroud ain't there. Probably like 37, 38 then, wouldn't it be? Something like that. Right, come on, lads. Take it to the Allianz and fucking win it, boys. Will you have a regen? Possibly. I'll check after this. Oh, more wins in the league, though. We should be walking it, I hope. Uh, striker France. There's going to be a few French strikers, though, aren't there? Still a couple, quite a lot that are still playing. Bernard. Hmm, I don't know, even know how good his regen would be. I don't think it's any of these kids. Paul Lambert, that sounds like an English name. Marquez, Luis. There's so many, I don't even know how I'd, I don't know how I'd even know. <laughs> some of the regens are older than some of the players. <laughs> Right, second leg against Bayern, please, boys. Please. Or right, I'll have to go to a third part, which is absolutely fine too, but I hope it doesn't. Or a second part, even. They've got Matip in defence, please, guys. I beg. Second leg. 2 0 win. David and Vinder. I thought I saw, I thought I saw 2 0 on the other side, and then I thought Bayern had won it. Oh, uh, boys. We're into the quarters. Jonathan, David, Owen Vinder. Who's the quarter is going to be? Pro it usually goes Bayern and Inter, um, but uh, I don't know which way it'll go. Inter could be in the quarterfinals. Finally, we beat Bayern. From what I've had in history on these rebuilds, the short amount of time I've done them, it goes Bayern and Inter. I think this must be the Ibra region. He looks the best out of the lot, showing great potential. It's probably him. And Bermo, 79 rated as well. So, what are the odds that we've got fucking um, Inter? Because we usually have Bayern and Inter. <laughs> Who fucking seen that one coming? We lost to them so much in the group stage. I don't have any confidence here, boys. I'm not going to lie. You'll get City. No, we've got Inter. Thankfully, I was right, but also didn't want to be right. Because these, these guys destroyed us in the groups. And I don't know how, because their team's all right, but not incredible. I mean, I'll say that and lose now, but it's a decent team. At the Johan Cruyff Arena, anyway, the first leg will end in a 3-2 loss. I just, we can't get past Inter, apparently. Gakpo for us, Malin for us, but they've got three goals. It's Mason fucking Mount with a last-minute winner in the first leg. Come on, lads. We'll just stay on this calendar, might as well. Excelsior in between. One uh, one all draw, thanks to Taylor, but we also had a red card as well, I didn't see what it was for. Wrench, I think you said. Alright, second leg against Inter then. Please. I beg. I fucking beg. They've got a decent team, obviously, like we just saw. But we can do this. We can beat them at the San Siro. 3 to an aggregate. It's going to end in a 2 0 win. Oh, I didn't expect that. Jonathan David and Danielle Marlon. We're into the semi finals. Oh, this could be the run. We're going to have either PSG, Real Madrid, or Barcelona, it looks like. Oh, please don't be PSG, though. Match rescheduled. Wrench and Timber have reached their potentials. Timber's hit 89. Could probably push him to a 90 as well. Uh, he's, still got, oh, he's still got growth. Oh my god. Yeah, he's going to be in 90. If not, if we don't finish it this season, he's going to hit 90 next season. And Wrench as well, 84. He's banned for a game because he's a fucking moron. But he's got places to grow as well. Is it going to be PSG? It is, you're right. Damn it, you're right. No. No. We had such a good run. We're doing so well. Uh, <laughs> How's the league looking? Are we comfy in that? I'll have a quick check because I'm just 
um, we lost. We drew a couple of games there. Five points clear at the moment with two games to go. We just need to win one more. All right, or even get a point. Are the Park de France the first leg? What team have they got? Donnarumma, Guerrero, Keo. Troy Parrot is quite funny. Just a random name thrown in there, but the rest of the team is absolutely stark raving bonkers. Come on, boys. At the Parc de France. It's a 2 0 win! Please, please don't play with me like this video game. Please don't hurt me like this. David Mallon, don't do me like this. We are one step away. If I lose 3 0 in this second leg, the controller's getting launched. I'm 100% sure of that. I'm 100% sure that the controller's getting launched across the room. If Mbappe gets a hat trick, you will not be seeing me again ever. The fucking turtle looking ass. Right, can we beat Fire Lord and win the league? Draw. That'll be enough, I think. That will be enough, because they're in second. So we've done the league. Champions League final in the balance at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Ajax versus PSG. 2-0 up. 2-1 win! We're in the Champions League final! Mukiele got one from them. But it's David and Malin that will send us into the Champions League final. Will it be Barca or will it be Real? Or Chelsea even, I guess, because I didn't realise it was Chelsea that could have gone through. Barcelona 1-0 up on aggregate, I think. Oh, no, they won it. It was going to be Barca. It's going to be Ajax versus Barcelona. Crystal Palace in the final of the Europa Conference. Oh, my God. We're going to lose to Real. No, we're, I, I thought it was going to be Real as well, but it's actually the other side of Spain. Let's get this wrapped up then, boys. The league, we should win this. 3-0. Malin, Gakpo, and Alvarez. And we go to the Champions League final. Oh my days. Jordan said as well, he feels like this could be the one. And it maybe could be. If I can actually play the video game properly and play it well, this could be the one. Third season. If we lose, we go to a fourth season on another stream. If we win, we've completed the Ajax rebuild. I am excited, but also scared. I'm shivering. I'm fucking shivering, boys. Right, take a look at this team, then. This is how we are looking in terms of development. Let's see the growth. Quite a good team so far. And we'll check the stats and everything after the final. But this is how we are looking. Some great growth all over the place. Alvarez, moving him to centre-back might be one of the best decisions I've ever made. You're in Timber looking fantastic. All these players looking very good. Even the backups are looking good. Uh, some out alone. Jacobs has gone from a 61 to a 73. Fucking hell. What? He's got 12 overall. Pages has gone up 7 overall. Some of these loans are working out madness. Casado looks fantastic. Fitz looks fantastic. Taylor. He's a bench player, is Kenneth Taylor. And I don't know how, because he's bloody fantastic. Kevin De Bruyne has gone down 2. Managed to hold on to his overall a little bit. Kudos looks fantastic. This team is going to be so goddamn fun to play with. Gakpoor and 88. Some of these players look incredible. Messi's gone down three already, but that's fine. He was only in for backup. Cohen, Chow, or whatever you, however you pronounce it, I don't know. Malin looks cracked. Broby looks decent as well, despite having limited game time, unfortunately. De Vries would have been a good striker to continue building on. And then Jonathan David. We'll take a look at all the stats after, but it is a, a Champions League final here. I'm just going to save over. I don't usually do this, but I'm just going to save over in case anything goes wrong. Not in case I lose, but just in case the game crashes or anything. If I lose, I'll take it in a gracious defeat, but. Champions League final at the San Siro. Oh my god. That team is very fucking good. We've got Emmy in goal. Vine Dallin Wrench is a full back. Timber and Alvarez is a centre back. Alvarez captain in the side. Casado CDM. De Bruyne left centre mid. Kudus right centre mid. Malin off the right. Gakpo off the left. And David in the uh, striker position. Just, I just want to say as well, the back four has stayed the back four from start to finish. The back four has not changed at all. And that's incredible. But can we do it? In Italy, they've got Testegen in goal. Gvardiol and Kunde as the fullbacks. Tamori and Laporte as the centre-backs. Kessier, CDM and captain. De Jong and Benacer. Fati off the left and Belly off the right. And then Alvarez up front. Well, there's two chances, boys. Losing 2-0 is what Josh is thinking. I'm hoping we don't lose 2-0. I'd like to. I'd like to win it.
throw in your control if you lose. We'll see. Probably. Oh boy. I've got the pens. I hope not. I hate penalties in this game. I hope we could just win it in normal time. But it's a very good Barcelona team. Why am I playing? Because I play a Champions League final. I sim all the way up until a Champions League final and then I play the final. There's no chance I'm leaving this to fucking sim. <laughs> Hope I lose 5 0. Well, I mean, maybe. Barcelona have a good side. Well, we've built one hell of a team here, ladies and gents. Not to mention that the back four has not changed throughout the whole rebuild. Some cracking signings made, some beautiful bargains got as well. De Bruyne was fantastic. Malin might be one of the best deals I've ever done in a rebuild. Dortmund offered me three million and Malin for a 30-year-old Berghaus in season one. And Malin is now in a Champions League final, whereas Berghaus, I don't know where the fuck he is. I mean, he's still at Dortmund, I believe. We definitely went out on that deal. Some brilliant deal's been done. And it's a final hurdle. Will we win or will we bottle it? Fingers crossed we don't bottle it. Even their bench is good. They've got Declan Rice and Robert Lewandowski on the bench. What the fuck? Who has that? Well, 90 minutes to be played at the San Siro. Ajax to kick it off. Will we see the rebuild completed in season three? Alvarez losing it out, but getting it just about to Casado. Kudus, Malin. Play about to wrench. Malin again. Got room here. Does he have a ball in towards Gakpo? It's not got enough on it, and it's caught by Tostegan. Oh, I'll switch to Vindal. There we go. Oh, I've done something to do. Dembele. Benacer has gone inside. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for crying out loud. What's going on with my centre back there? I can only blame myself. Julian Alvarez puts Barcelona ahead. My United women lost. Of course he did. <laughs> I don't. I, I mean, it's a bit of poor movement from me there. With I think it's Timber. Poor movement from me, but it's a good finish from uh, Alvarez. You can't be leaving him in that much space. It's one 0 Barcelona. That's not what we needed, boys. The setback was not what we needed. Fucking bastard, Julian Alvarez. Alvarez is the city one, that's the city region, I believe. Oh, not city region, the city player. <laughs> Fucking, we need sand now, boys. That was not the way it starts it. It's a foul by Gavardiol. But no um, no card. De Jong, a familiar face, of course. Thinking of maybe going for him at some point. Maybe we should have done to weaken Barcelona here. What happened to Lewandowski? He's on the bench. They've got him on the bench. I'm surprised they've got him on the bench, but he's like he's probably quite low rated now, so maybe that's why. Wrench now to Timber. Kudus. Malin stays on side. Malin, ball across. David! Oh, Jesus Christ, what an awful header. Malin keeps it alive. De Bruyne. Casado. Back to K KDB. Casado again. David, one more to Gakpo. 
Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're gone again. Full back positions, I think, really need some upgrading next year if we're not going to win it in this one. <laughs> like, it's funny in that how I've defended in the game, she's decided, no, you haven't. You're right, this is going to be a 5 0. It might even be more than 5 0. Then Belly gets very lucky to make it too. I, yeah, I'm struggling here, boys. I don't understand really though, because I've got my defender there that time. Wait, was that an own goal? Oh no. Wait, I'm an idiot. Why do you think that was an own goal? I mean, Timber should have got across there. I keep forgetting they're in yellow. Why am I in I, my brain? Right, come on, boys. But, like, it's a slow start. And it may mean another part to this rebuild, which I don't really want, but um, it might be coming about. It's not been great for us to start off with, David. Can't find him. Can't find a way through. And when it comes to defending, it just feels clunky, and I don't know why. The Bruyne intercepts. Marlon, Kudus. Oh, they're just, they're just so good. They're just so fucking good. This team is good. Lord, can I switch to my player that I want to use? Thank you. Alvarez in the way. Messi's considering retirement. Hold up. Didn't inform me of this decision. Oh, fucking Christ. Across comes Timber. Bit defensively poor from Ajax off the rip here. De Bruyne. I need some help. David is the help. It just, it just feels like it's Barcelona players. There's like more than 11 on the pitch, if that makes sense. I know obviously there isn't, but it just feels like that. Look at this tiki-taka. Fucking... Jesus, this is world class, boys. Will you give it a fucking rest? Wrench, Malin now. He's got the pace to take it down the right. He's got the pace to go the whole way. Option in the middle is David. Oh, I've tried to pass it. I passed it too late, like an absolute idiot. Vindal wins that. Gakpo gets caught. Wrench. Try to stop Fatty. Does. Okay. Looking a little bit better, boys. Looking a little bit better. Kudus. Not really been able to get him in the game. I think it might be the, uh, what I have to do. To have a chance here. Fatty down on the left now. Ball in. Away by Alvarez. Comes to Kudus. Where is Malin? Why, is that, why have I got no right winger? <laughs> Wrench does well. He'll get it away. I don't know where Malin's escaped to. David's gagging for it. He gets it. Throw it to KDB. Why not? Why not? KDB brings one back. Ajax could have won if you simmed it. I mean, maybe, but we'll never know. I'm on world class with sliders, but I've got the sliders in the uh, computer's kind of advantage. So it's near. It's between like world class. It's like high world class and low legendary. So the computer has more, like, better sliders than I do. Does that make sense? So I have a bit more, a uh, bit more shot accuracy, a bit less error, etc. De Bruyne gets one back. Come on, this is still on for us. This is still on for us. Can we find a way back here? We got one back. 13 matches in the Premier in the Champions League he's played, and this is the first goal he's got. Jesus Christ, not my De Bruyne. Couldn't do a tackle by Vindal. Neither going to go for Dembele, but can't mark two players with one person. Gakpo picks it up off of Vindal. David's asking for it. David's got the pace and the speed and the area, and the finish is to all. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to Barcelona, but they've completely fallen apart. Jonathan David makes it 2 all. This is going to be a goal fest, isn't it? The ball through. Perfectly weighted by Gakpo. David has the speed and the finish. And it is 2-2 in this one. Fantastic as well. Around to Stegen. Well, that's 
completely turned the game on its head. Two quick goals from Barcelona put the uh, Spanish side in the lead, but two quick goals from Ajax has made it equal here. And Barcelona probably taking it back a little bit. By the way, we've come back into this one. Casado was meant to pass that, didn't pass in time. Now uh, it could be trouble again here if we're not careful. That's offside. Is that not offside? I was going to say. <laughs> I thought it was quite far. It's not actually as far as I thought it was, but it is offside against Ansu Fati. Two all already in just the first half. This is going to be a fucking cracking game of football. Has been so far. A bit lucky to get back into this, to be honest. I'll be honest, but... Divine Wrench needs options here. Jonathan David is the option to Stegen. Can't get back in there with David. Gakpo keeps it alive. KDB is blocked. David keeps it alive and now Gakpo again. Vindal. Team seems to be cooking a bit more now. Gakpo. Kayasado. David. Oh, I've turned the wrong way and it's an awful shot. Kudus doesn't have the height. Wrench keeps it alive. Cody Gakpo. Marlon. Is it taken off him? Now oh, is man Dembele. Could be through here. If we're not careful. Even if we were careful, he was through it, but he shot it straight at Emmy. Sorry, mate, I had to handle something. No worries, mate. We made it to a Champions League final. Two all currently. Our goal's coming from David and De Bruyne. There's coming from Alvarez and I think it was Dembele. That should be half time, but the ref's going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. Lovely. Alvarez closes it down and we're just going to yeet it off the pitch. Two all at the break. It's still all to play for for both sides. Barcelona rushing into a quick 2-0 lead, but goals back from Kevin De Bruyne and Jonathan David mean that we've got 45 more minutes of tense gameplay to get through. Will it be Ajax's night? Take a look at the stats. 56 to 44 in terms of possession in favour of us. Five shots to three in favour of us as well. But uh, Barcelona have 1.7 expected goals to 1.2. They've been playing a lot better, to be honest, at Barcelona. We got a little bit lucky, but we have made the chances as well. And, of course, you do have the options on the bench, should we require them. Taylor might give him a moment. Messi, maybe, as well. And um, hopefully we can get this done. Hopefully we can make it to the other side with a uh, Champions League trophy. The laugh when I said we win the whole damn thing. Honestly, I didn't think we would. We got past Bayern. We got past Inter. We got past PSG. And we've made it here. If we can make it here. Just got one more step past Barcelona. But Fatih's not been picked up. And I've got to ask questions of my whole entire defence there. Fatih's just been allowed through without any reaction from my centre-backs. AI defending really not doing its work there. How's Fatih just been allowed through though? Like genuinely. Three two Barcelona. I don't understand how it's just been allowed to. Like, he's pr pretty much walked through. It's a perfect run from him, but how he's not been picked up from either Timber or Alvarez. What I'm gonna do here? It's not gonna. I don't know if it's gonna make much of a difference, but we're gonna try it because Fatty's on that side. We have Timber on that side because it's slightly faster. Fence wake up. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what happened there. Fancy Ansu Fati getting a, another goal. Five out of seven or five in seven. In the Champions League, Cody Gakpo making a move down the right here, or the left. I can't say words at all. Caicedo, David, Caicedo again. Pressing me, Marlon. Can we get another one back in here? Kudus can't find a way through. Shite. And that should be Alvarez's from Alvarez. Alvarez stopping Alvarez. Wrench sends Fatty to the floor. Kudus. Continues his movement. De Bruyne. KDB off the edge of the box. It's a good save to Stegen.
Kevin De Bruyne. Play it short, actually. I don't trust this game. Gakpo's come short for it. Cody Gakpo, near post attempt to Stegen at it again. Robbie is wondering what's going to need to change here. Unfortunately, Robbie, you probably won't make an appearance because David's been good. Not just today, but the whole season. Gakpo. Marlon, De Bruyne is offside. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I passed it there at all. He's, he's miles off. Like, well, I don't know what my th thinking was there. Goal required for Ajax. I'm having to press with De Bruyne. Why, where, where is everyone? <laughs> There's Mandan Burley off the right here. Vindal trying to find a way to stop him. Ball in towards the back post. Wrench and Kayasado will get it away. Late tackle there by the young. Should be a book in. Kudos. To David. Spots Gakpo. Cody Gakpo. Has Kudus at the back post. It's blocked well by Tamori. And it will be a yellow card for Frankie de Jong. Fucking thought it was going to go to the back post there to Kudus and it didn't quite work out. Oh, another corner for Ajax. We're pressing for this equaliser now. Really pressing for it. De Bruyne. Short again, probably this time to uh, Cody Gakpo once again. It seems to work this. Gives us a chance at least. Cody Gakpo. Tries to shoot it. De Bruyne gets it back. Uh, Alvarez was not who I wanted to get to. I was wanted to get to Kudus, but it's decided to fake it. And now we're in a bit of trouble. Because the game decided to dummy it without me wanting it to. What by Timber? Gakpo. De Bruyne. Across. David! Oh, it wasn't meant for David. It was meant for Kudus. <laughs> the Stegen's gone full fucking good. And you see their bench, they brought off Kessier and brought on Rice. Like, what the fuck? This depth of Barcelona is mad. We are able to bangers, mate. Loving them. Content is brilliant. Though. I'm glad you're enjoying them, mate. Well, uh, I've, got, uh, I've got the um, ones that people want to do next. This is the last one I personally want to do myself. I'll take suggestions after this. David's offside. I'm blocking it. Somehow it's... Either way, it's not going to go in because David's in the fucking way. But I don't think it would have gone in anyway. Can I have can I have my centre back? There we go. I don't know where I I mean I do know where he is, I just don't know why he's there. But um Wander there from Divine Wrench left Timber to do all the work. It's a corner of Barcelona now. Do you bring do I bring him on against his former side? Maybe, maybe. Baron Torres coming up for Ansu Fati is such a fucking good Barcelona bench. I think the next one is um, one in the Spanish league. It'll probably be a two-par at the very least. French could have a run here. French could have a run here. We're going to need some support, though. There's no way Laporte catches up to Wrench, right? It's a known back post. Oh, for crying out loud. I've got so many players, just one player, because everyone's sat so far back. I don't understand why. I need to be pushing forward for, for a winner here. Oh, fuck no. Oh, dear. Vardio's left back, and he's doing this. Okay, that's that's the centre-back, by the way, who's playing at left back for whatever reason. They're deep. Yeah, this is difficult. We have to go attacking. We might have to do more seasons of this, which I don't really want to do, but... I don't see us equalising, you know. I really don't. The young plays it short to Dembele. Ball is in. He's headed away, only as far as Alvarez. Flicks it onto Benacer. Played him well. Blocked again. I think it was Timber with the block. It's going to be in our corner. Can't sake. I may be make changes soon, but I don't really want to make them unless we... I, well, we might have extra time. I don't want to waste them before then. Make my point. Not 
in our corner. Thort to Dembele. Inside, it's going to be blocked by a Divine Wrench. You can go on a run again here. He's going to need some help this time, boys. Hint, hint. <laughs> David asking for... That's a stupid foul. Yellow card. Or Jules Kunde. Smart foul, really, to be fair, because we're on the counter, but... Annoying, because we were on the counter. Wrench trying to make it through there. Having a word with Jules Kunde there. Vindal into Mohamed Kudus of Ajax. David, oh, it's not David, it's Gakpo. But whoever it is, has lost the ball. They're just so fucking deep. I don't think we're going to win this, boys. Timber. David. Marlon. Bit of magic! Bit of magic from Marlon! I didn't think, I thought we were going to get tackled, to be honest. I didn't really expect anything to come out of that. But Magic Malin, the man we got in the first season when we didn't even mean to, might be the one who's put us back into this Champions League final. Got closed down a little bit, had to turn his man, which he did so well, and an outside of the boot finish. Past Ter Stegen. And I was thinking of bringing Malin off for Messi, I'm glad I bloody didn't, Jesus. Three all at the San Siro. With 10 minutes to go, it really is anyone's game. Tackle by Alvarez, but we've lost the ball out again. De Bruyne has got to be tired. We're getting tired anyway. Cleared it away because I think it's going to press B to tackle from Malin there. It's going to be a throw into Barca. Malin has been wonderful. He's been kind of the shock of the rebuild to be honest because I wasn't even plan he wasn't even in the remotest of my plans because Berghaus <laughs> I wasn't going to sell for a season or two to see how he went and then Dortmund said alright Malin and money and I was like okay yeah Malin and money and it's worked fantastically but there might be a horrible end to this fairy tale story that should be Emmys and it is I'm just going to clear it away I don't trust this game I know De Bruyne won't be able to chase that, but we're just going to re rethink ourselves here, re-strategize to Stegen coming out. Sort that one out. Blocked by Alvarez. Do we have a winner in us, boys? Do we have a winner? Kudus, David, Marlon can't be picked out. Do they have a winner in them? Timber. Vindal. Vindal feels a bit clunky, you know. I don't know why. De Bruyne. It's not going to get to Gakpo. Now the time of four minutes. It's launched all the way up to Emi Martinez. Alvarez to wrench. Maybe the last chance in normal time here. Daniel Malin into Kudus. Maybe Malin again, he didn't make the move. It's going to be brought away. And that it might be Barcelona to steal it at the death here, and I'll cry. Vindal, it's a poor tackle from Rice. Get the ball going, though. Gakpo, Kudus. Or David, sorry. To Kudus. Oh, Laporte closes it down. And it will go to extra time. 90 minutes couldn't separate us. The extra time we're seeing. It's been a fantastic game. Making any changes beforehand. 57 to 43 in terms of possession, 11 shots to 6. It's been a lot harder for us to fight back into this one. And 2.6 expected goals to 2.4. I think we run it and see. Gakpo's quite tired. De Bruyne is looking alright, you know. <laughs> Gakpo is quite tired, though. We'll keep an eye on that. I kind of want to bring Taylor on. Glad you have. Hold on. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I wasn't sure if we were going to win it. Glad you held on to all those subs, is what I'm trying to read, but I can't read. Lewandowski on for Dembele. So either they're going to striker or Lewandowski's on the wing, which is an interesting choice. Van Rich has been fouled there. We'll take the. We won't take the free kick. I pressed to take the free kick, but the game has said no. So I've still got the ball. Kudus. Don't think we're going to bring Malin off. If we do bring on Messi, it'll have to be for Gakpo. 
Kudos. Marlon again. Twinkle tours in the box. De Bruyne. Oh, it's blocked. I tried to switch onto his right foot. He just didn't want to. He just refused. It was like, nah. Kudos pressing, but not getting to keep the ball. A Barcelona go here. Lewandowski is on the right, which is interesting. He's got past Vindal. Timber with a vital challenge to prevent Lewandowski's shot from going on goal. Gakpo over the top to David. Can he get it before Laporte? It's not really gone well there, that pass. I saw the idea, uh, but didn't really... That player switched to fucking joke, by the way. Good block, Alvarez. Blocked by Barcelona as well. Try to squeeze it through to Kudos. And we do just about get it through to the Ghanaian. Wrench. It's a very lazy pass. And for some reason, David stopped even when I've continued to sprint. <laughs> oh, it could go to penalties, boys. I'm going to be heartbroken. Vandal cuts out the pass from Lewandowski. Gakpo. De Bruyne is gagging for it, man. He wants his Champions League. More than anyone maybe in this squad. KDB. All the way in. Off to David! Oh, to Stegen could save. May bring on Calvin Bassi for Owen Vandal at the interval. For now, we're just going to play out these remaining minutes. Daniel Malin, ball in. Hopefully, someone gets their head on it. Alvarez, can he knock it down? Kind of, to Timber. Kudos. He's options here. He's getting pressed to fuck here. Look at this. Malin outright. Back into Kudos. Tried to find it. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I shot a second time. I'm an absolute moron there. Yeah, fuck it. We'll bring on Leo. We'll bring on Leo. Why not? Dennis Sir, can off for Quates. Messi has scored if it goes to Penn, surely. Yeah, 100%. I'm bringing them on now. Another corner. Gag Paul's putting a good effort, boys. But it's going to be Lionel Messi in the Ajax kit. What the fuck? This just does, does not look right at all. Marlin, ball in. Towards your in timber. It's not going to be high enough. Kudos, can we keep it alive? Not really. Okay. 15 minutes. 15 minutes to go. Will there be a winner? In 15 minutes. I'm fucking shaking. I don't want to score penalties in case I lose. <laughs> 60 to 40, lads. Come on. It's not like we've not had the chances. We just haven't been able to finish because sagan has been a monster. 60 to 40 in terms of possession, 14 shots to 6 and 2.9 expected goals, 2.4. I can't lie, I'll feel a little bit robbed if this doesn't go our way. Um, I'm going to bring on Taylor. No, I'm not because I want De Bruyne and Kudus both on. Sorry, Taylor. I think we've made another change. Alvarez has come off. I don't, didn't see who came on. don't remember who they had on the bench. Uh, Matthias Tell. Alvarez. Picks up the list ball. Vindal. De Bruyne. David, please go. Go and don't stop going until the going is done. David. Oh my god. For a sec, I thought Laporte had ricocheted it into his own net. I was trying to cut in and play off to Kudus. But it didn't cut in quick enough, and Laporte get the tackle in and nearly get the non goal in, which is funny. Ball in. De Bruyne. Towards Jonathan David, he's not tall enough, and Stegen's right there. Too close to Stegen there. Casado falls over. Matthias Tell. Wrench gets there as well as Alvarez, and Tell's not very happy about it. Give me a book in for the young. Well, in real life, Bayern striker, but in game, Barca striker. Minutes left to go before a penalty shootout, and my nerves get absolutely fried more than they already are. <laughs> if we have to go to a part two because you lose a penalty shootout, I'm actually going to cry a little bit inside. If we could find a winner in normal time, that would be absolutely magnificent. Timber. 
is an idiot. Timber is a king. He's made up for his mistake. Don't why I didn't pass to wrench though. Like I wanted, like I wanted it to. Marlon. David. Can't get the ball through to him. Arsenal's ball here. Oh, we're all over the joint. Oh, we're all over the gaff. Oh, we're all over the gaff. Emmy. Cracking save. We're all over the gaff there, boys. What's going on? Pressure's getting to us a little. Alvarez just getting it gone down the line to Lionel Messi. Kevin De Bruyne. David, please. He's got the pace of Laporte, surely. Jonathan David. He's done it. Jonathan David. Or is it Kudus? I don't know who it is. It's somebody. I think it's Kudus, actually. Whoever it is has put it in the back of the net. Identity theft. It's 4-3 Ajax. I think it's Kudus. I can't tell the shirt number because my eyesight's bad. Oh, my days. Mohamed Kudus. I thought it was David. I apologise. Mohamed Kudus. I told you we were bloody winning this year. We've got three minutes to hold on. Ultra defensive. Get everybody back. Park that damn bus. Oh, mate, if we concede late now, I'm going to be so fuming. Vindal, boot it away. But maybe with a bit more power than that, perhaps. David, squeeze it through to Malin. Could we get one to seal the deal, perhaps? That's a red card. I mean, it's not actually yellow because of somebody else, but it could be enough to run down the clock. It could be enough. Tomorrow get a yellow. Messi free kick. We'll go for it. We'll go for it. I probably won't score it because it's quite far out still. I was honestly going to put De Bruyne on it, but Messi could be even more fun. A minute left. This might be the last kick of the game for us. The last chance saloon to seal the deal. We're already a goal up. Taking all the time. No, we're going to fucking waste time here, boys. Don't you worry. Jonathan David stepping up. No, fella, sorry to tell you. It's a bit far out, but why not? Lionel Messi against his former club. It's not bad, but it's not going to go in. But it won't matter. At the San Siro. Ajax has won the Champions League for a sixth time. The rebuild has been completed. Three seasons it took. And we are done. Ajax, we've won everything apart from the domestic cup, but we've won the league twice. We've won the Champions League. And we've completed the rebuild. I'm gonna let these guys soak in the moment. Let these guys enjoy it. Mohamed Kudus in the 117th minute. I got confused on who it was, but it was Mohamed Kudus. Champions League for a sixth time. It comes to Ajax. It's going to be Edson Alvarez. He's going to lift the trophy. What a match and what a story. KDB, Messi, all celebrating. Emmy Martinez, all reveling in the glory that is Champions League. KDB finally gets his Champions League. He may have got one with Chelsea, but I don't know. And around the San Siro, where he beat into Milan, we're going to be celebrating again, this time with the biggest prize in European history. Always believed, never doubted, knew it before anyone else thought it was possible. Absolutely fully deserved. When we look at the stats here, you'll see it's fully deserved. What a fucking performance. That late save by Martinez, looking back, that was massive. It was, it really was, it might have been the game changer.
And I thought Kuros had missed, honestly. I thought Kuros had blazed it wide. But the limbs, when that young man finished off the job, when I figured out who it was, because I'm confused as anyone and my eyes are bad. Kudus with the winning goal. 2 0 up went Barcelona. We right back to 2 all. Ansu Fati took the lead again for Barca. Malin with the equaliser. And then we'll watch it again. Ball over by KDB. Perfectly weighed. And a cracking finish. And the goal that won us the Champions League is right there. Mohamed Kudus. Four, three. And uh, is it this save you run about? I think it might have been this save here. It was a different save, but that was a good save as well. It was a different save, but a very late one in the normal time, I think it was. But we deserved that based off the stats. 60 to 40 in terms of possession, 16 shots to 7, and 3.2 expected goals to 2.9. What a performance from everybody. Man of the match goes, not even to our player. What? The belly gets man of the match. Okay, but Divine Wrench was our best player. And I can't disagree. He was so good at that right back spot. And one I've always wanted to see grow within a career mode. And it's one we've got to see grow here. Daniel Mallard, I mean, the, the formation's a bit messed up. That's because we just switched off to defensive at the end. So some players might be in the wrong places. Uh, Malin getting a goal and a 7.8. Vidal, a class performance from left back as well. Jonathan David with a goal and two assists up front was world class, 7.4. Urian Timber, solid defence in the end. It was a bit leaky at first, but got it sorted. Mohamed Kudus, it's only 7.2, but the most important goal in this rebuild's history in his career as well. Uh, the Champions League winner, Mohamed Kudus. Kevin De Bruyne with a goal and an assist. And what a signing he was. What a signing he was. We got him on the cheap. And he's come and just revolutionised this side. What a game for the neutrals. Yeah, no, cracking game for the neutrals. Gakpo with the other assist for us. Looking at their stats, it was Dembele with a goal and 8.5. Fatty with a goal that I thought might have won Barcelona the game at one point. 7.4 for him. And Julian Alvarez with a goal and 7.3. And the two assists coming from Ismail Benacer. One hell of a cracked side that um, that Barcelona have got. But we ended up bringing it through and getting the dub. And that's all that matters to me. The Champions League has been done. The rebuild has been done. We'll do a post-match interview. Why not? Don't usually, but we will do. Look at that. Beauty. Winner. Champions League. Ajax. Go ahead out. That was unreal. Massively enjoyed that one. Looking forward to the next career board. Have a great afternoon, mate. Much love. Hope you have a good day as well, mate. And thank God that we've done it in this part and we didn't have to go to a second part. Uh, it was a real team performance. Cracking game there. We went 2-0 down. I thought, oh, this is going to be it. We're gone. Oh, my God. I mean, I love the uh, AC Milan rebuild because it was so quickly done, but I think this one out of the four made my favourite. With the fact that we didn't even have to change an incredible amount of the team. Hopefully I can get this up by 8 o'clock, but we'll see. If I can't, then I can't. If I can, then I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, boys. That is it. For this one, we'll check the stats, check everything over. But that will do it. I'm happy. I'm very happy that it did it in one part, but it could have easily gone to a two-part situation there. We'll send a bit further ahead. We'll go to about here, and we'll take a look at all the uh, stats in a minute. Prize money, 20 million. Beautiful. And Ajax double up. They've rewritten the history books at Ajax. Haitenga's team have lifted both the Eredivisie and the UEFA Champions League to complete a double. It's been a dramatic climax to a remarkable campaign. And Ajax supporters are already wondering if there might be more to come from their boys. Ajax Champions League winners. I mean, of course, Alvarez was the captain. But Mohamed Kudus, um, of course, with the trophy that he got the winning goal for. London Stadium played host to an astonishingly powerful display from Ajax. I thought it was at San Siro. What? <laughs> he emerged victorious um, 
over FC Barcelona with a 4 3 win and saw Kudus leading the celebrations after the final whistle. The fans in Amsterdam are getting ready to give the squad a hero's welcome home as an enthralling journey to the climax of the tournament was rewarded with more silverware to find room for in the trophies or the club's trophy cabinet. Uh, yesterday's thrilling performance saw Ajax make it five triumphs. I think it's six triumphs, but I don't. I could be wrong, or maybe the game's wrong. Wrapped up in Champions League finals, player of the tournament has been given to Ajax's Jonathan David. We're on a super run. Alvarez very happy as well, and Ajax fans are no doubt excited at the prospect of a now top-notch performance from the team. will be hoping to bring a run of winning form into the upcoming game. We're in great form, observed Ajax captain Alvarez, and I expect to see us build on that. UEFA Champions League final review. Ajax versus Barcelona. Ajax have won this year's UEFA Champions League in a final which evenly matched beforehand. They triumphed over a bitterly disappointed Barcelona team 4-3 and lifted the famous old trophy. And the double vision, obviously that was before the game. We have been successful in said double vision. Um, so happy, happy days. Keeper of the tournament, will it be Martinez? It will. Keeper of the tournament, Emiliano Martinez. And the player of the tournament, for the, oh, this is the area divisi. Uh, Jonathan David. So let's take a look then at the uh, roundup. Ajax winning the league by five points in the end. Uh, clear of fire in order to keep second. Aze and Utrecht got the top four. PSV dropping down to fifth. And the bottom three was Sparta Rotterdam, MN and go ahead. Eagles, the Orange Becker, we never won that, which is kind of upsetting. So one trophy we never won. Lost to 20 in the quarterfinals, 2-1, with the club being, being won by Utrecht, who, fair play, they've got a bit of a rebuild themselves. <laughs> South America International Cup, we came second in that. We would like to have played Man United, but we uh, got a decent amount of money from it. UEFA Super Cup, we beat Barcelona at the start of the season. So it's actually technically a treble, 2-1 uh, win over Barca. The Champions League, we beat Barca again. We beat Barca at the start of the season, the first game, and we beat Barca at the end of the season for the last game. 4-3, Mohamed Kudus, Doing the work, of course. Group stage, keep second dog group behind Inter. We beat Bayern in the round of 16, 4 1 on aggregate. We beat Inter 4 3 on aggregate, just about made it through. We beat PSG 4 1 on aggregate, and we ended up beating Barcelona to win the Champions League. Europa League goes to Manchester City, who beat Juventus in a uh, Europa League final. It's 3 1, but that could very much as easily have been a Champions League final. Who did they beat on their way through? I'm guessing they got knocked out of the group in the champs. Hold on, let me have a little gander. Were they even in the champs? They weren't in the... Ch I guess they were just straight Europa League then. Man, City. That's mad. Okay. Where'd they come in the Europa League group then? Top of their group, obviously. Who did they beat then? Round of 16, they beat Galatasaray on penalties. Could have all gone wrong there. Beat Borussia Dortmund. Beat Standard Liège. And then beat Juventus. And the Conference League was won by Fiorentina on penalties. They probably topped their group as well, I'm assuming. Yeah, topped their group. And on the way to the win, they beat Zurich, they beat Ghent, they beat PSV, which we'll have to see, and they beat uh, Betis in the final. Crazy that Crystal Palace made it to the semi-finals of the conference. But it's quite cool as well. But that will do it. Take a look at the stats and all of the team for the final season. And we'll take a look at the growth as well in a moment. Top appearances, 50 appearances from Martinez, Alvarez, Vindal, Kudus, De Bruyne, Malin, David and Gakpo. Uh, not a lot of our attackers got a chance, really. Top goal scorer, once again, goes to Jonathan David. 32 goals and 9 assists from the Canadian with Malin with 23 and 8. A cracking performance from him and a hell of a sign to see what he was planning on going for him. Gakpo, 16 and 9. Kudus, 7 and 5. De Bruyne, 7 and 9. Quesada with four as well. Wrench and Alvarez with three. Vindal, Taylor with one goal each as well. As for assists, it's a joint top between De Bruyne, David and Gakpo. Nine each there. Eight from Marlon. Five for Kudus. Quesada with three. Taylor with two. Wrench, Alvarez, Vindal with one. And we'll take a look at the uh, ratings of this team at the end here. Um, from position order, I should say. We should really be going here. So... Good growth here. I'm not going to read them all out. I will scroll through them. If you want to pause and I need to have a look, uh, you're more than welcome. Some of these youth players, unfortunately, will never get a chance uh, because we've just won the Champions League there. But some players in here would have been absolutely fantastic. Um, one particular, Jan Jacobs, would have grown into an absolute fantastic right back. And uh, there's also some very good youth academy players here. But uh, you can't complain about it. A cracking season, a cracking rebuild. Uh, Kudos is at 90 now as well. Insane. 
Get pull up to an 88. What's up, uh, Izzy? You've just come at the end, unfortunately, of the stream. We've just finished rebuilding Ajax successfully. We've just won the Champions League. And uh, that is the team. What's the highest rated player worth? Kudus worth 148 million. He's worth a lot more to me. Scoring that winning goal in the Champions League final. And uh, I think that is us. I wonder if he came top of the Eredivisie score, uh, scores, David. Did he come top? He did. Only one ahead of Muniz and El Ghazi is on his level as well. Anyone else in here for us? Malin and Gakpo involved. Uh, assists coming from Malin, De Bruyne, Gakpo, David. And clean sheets. Martinez got the most by quite a way with 15 and 34. Oh boy, what an end to a cracking rebuild, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll keep our job because we've done what we need to do. How we finished with Ajax. You love to see it. I tried doing a retro career mode of FIFA 20 with Rochdale. Oh, God. That'll be a long haul. But I don't really know. I guess we'll go over our career as a manager. So, season one was not the great start that we really wanted. Didn't do anything. Record transfer was David for 47.5. Which looks like an absolute bargain right now. Orange Becker, we got semi-finals. Came second in the league and ran 16 in the Champions League. Season 2, bit of a struggle, but not completely struggle. We got knocked out in the great stage of the Champions League. Didn't win the Orange Becker again with the quarterfinals. And uh, Eredivisie and Europa League, we won both of. Paid 95 million for Gakpo after signing Bergvine for 64 million. So a decent season there. And then the last season there to finish off today. Won the Super Cup, won the Champions League, didn't get the <laughs> Aranji Becker again somehow, and I don't really know how. I read the Vizzi uh, winner. We paid 47 million for De Bruyne. It was actually 65 million altogether, but we did a player swap in there as well. And we sold Van de Beek for 25 million. So we got a treble at the end in this last season. And it's been a cracking ride. But it's time to end it there. Two league titles out of the three, which is a bit surprising. Biggest win, 5-1 uh, over Aze. And the big slots was 4-0 to Inter. Um, cracking, cracking rebuild once again, boys. We'll sim up to the end of the season. Might as well see what the board have to say. All the players coming back off a loan. Um, we're never going to use them, unfortunately even though some of them were very good. So to end Season 3 and to end today's rebuild, Eredivisie first, Orange Becker quarterfinals, South America Continental Cup, which was the preseason tournament, came second in, and um, Super Cup winner and Champions League winner. It's telling me about Kenneth Taylor's potential as well. Probably got more to grow as well, that's the thing. We just couldn't use him because we had such a crack in midfield. And we decided, fuck it, we're going to sign De Bruyne just to get that next level. But Kenneth Taylor might be one I use in a future rebuild. So you might see him again. Season 1, I finished first and promoted to the championship. Season 2, I finished third but failed promotion. Season 3, I finished second, four promotions. Season 4, I finished 12th, avoided relegation. Season 5, I finished 12th again and season 6 got sacked. E. That can't be easy, especially when you got him up to the Premier League. You want to get that next bit done, but it did the... Oh, that's unlucky. That is unlucky. But anyway, that is us. We didn't do many of the objectives at all, did we? But we did what we needed to do. And the most important one, we won the Champions League. So, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for today. I will see you tomorrow back as usual for some Hartlepool United career mode. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. What a rebuild, boys.